All right, thank you for tuning in to game one of the season. My name is Jordan Spurgeon, here with my partner Kyle. Hello, everybody. My name is Kyle Dyer. Welcome for, to this exciting matchup here between the San Diego Rebellion and the Capital City Rage. Two inaugural teams going to face it out one another. For and the coin toss, we have Nenji Martin, Tanya Luna, Luna Sarah Rodriguez. Now it's coming in the middle for the coin toss, quarterback Nenji Martin. And Katie Ott. For the point toss. So just hold the mic down more. More. Okay. Uh, wide receiver Sarah Rodriguez and Katie Ott. Katie Ott. Forty-seven K. Katie Ott. Katie Ott. Katie Ott. Katie Ott. Bro. Forty-one. Forty-one. Oh, okay. And Katie Ott. Our partner Luke over there had a little, little flop, but it's all good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just now got to get ready for the coin Season toss. Season is young. Everything <laughs> will work itself out. Yep. Now we're just going to get ready for the coin well, toss. Yeah, tossing the coin will be Mayor Sam Abed of Escondido. The coin toss is honorary captain Sam Abed. Yeah, I, I told I told that guy. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright, All right. if you didn't hear me clearly, the the mayor of Escondido, Sam Abed, is gonna be doing the coin toss. As the honorary captain for the San Diego Rebellion. Looks like Capital City is going to choose to receive the ball here in the first half, and this Rebellion will get the ball in the second half. Like it's gonna be number 54. Uh, Selena Gray is gonna be doing the kickoff for the rebellion. Back to receive will be on the 20 yard line will be number five. And if I can read the number correctly, I think number seven for the Capital City Ridge. All right, this should be an exciting game, Kyle. I'm looking forward to see how this opening kickoff. Let's let's send get the message to start the season. Let's get let's get let's get let's get, to, let's get to it. Excuse me. Alright, time for the kickoff when we're underway. Ball goes over the heads done all the way back into the to the one yard line, picked up by number seven of the rage. I don't know why she didn't let that go in the end zone. Going right to the end zone, and she's tackled at the twelve, right around the eleven yard line. A little bit of a little bit of a miscue there, but 
See what happens there? The tackle made by number 81, Venika Jarvis. Well, they certainly made a statement there on that opening kickoff. Could have been a touchback, but the Rage decided to pick it up, First and they paid for it. Line. Yeah, so now they got a tough spot here at the 13-yard line. We want to remind you that tonight is Escondido Family Night, and be sure to be here next Saturday for you. Looks like it's going to be number night. number two as the quarterback for Capital City. About <laughs> four in the secondary here. First down and ten. Huge block up the middle, gains about 10. First down at around the 23-yard line for the Capital City Rage. All right, the defense is already looking like they're, uh, they're ready to play here. Yep. They're able to pursue, their, pursue oh. the Rage right now. So yeah. meanwhile, there's a pe defensive penalty by Santa Grimaldi. on the field. <laughs> looks like it's going to be a... It's like a personal foul penalty, so that's going to send them now to, the so now to the 44-yard line. Oh, no, 39-yard line, excuse me. So now we'll be first and 10 once again. All right. All right. While we're at it, I want to thank one of our sponsors, the Palomar College Media Studios. First and 10, rebellion defense, ready for the first All right, in the nickel, first and 10 here. Inside the pistol formation for the for the rage. Shaq, pass in the pass out the middle. She's got a receiver in the middle. It's ah, oh, but it's dropped. It's incomplete. Pass falls incomplete. Rebellion really caught a break right there. Defense did a good job making sure there was a little bit of pressure on her right there. Yeah, had, she had it right in her hands though. It could have been six right there, but instead it's going to be second and ten. Yeah. If the Rebellion force a stop right here, that's going to really haunt the Rage, for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Must have at least one kid for every two adults to get the five dollars ticket break. So they're going back into the nickel here. Well, it is second and ten. Second and ten, four wide receivers out. out. Second and ten. Comes a shotgun, close to the left side, and it is incomplete. Attended for number 18. With, with number 54, Selena, Selena Graves on the coverage. Yeah, that was a great, great coverage right there by Selena. She did a really solid job. So she's shown that she can do many things. She yep. was uh, the backup kicker because I understand that uh, yep. Jen was a little nicked up. So she stepped in, made a great kickoff, and now great play and pass coverage. Yep, great job as a middle line in the coverage as a middle linebacker too. So now it sets up a third down and ten. Inside the 39 yard line. Here for the defense. Like I said, I'm willing to bet they're going to go through the air again here. Yeah. Same formation in the pistol. Full back on the left side, half back on the middle, in the back. That throws it down to the left side, and it is way too far out of the reach. Way incomplete. incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Fourth and 10. They're able to get a stop after giving up a first down on a defensive penalty. Great first drive for the Rebellion. Special thanks to our, one of our sponsors, Polymer College Media Studies. Yeah, Polymer! All right, let's like it. <laughs> that is also your four announcers in the announcer booth right now. <laughs> thank you, Nick, uh, for the shout out. Thank you, thank you, Nick. <laughs> Now it looks like it's going to be number 54, Selena Grace, back to return at the 40-yard line. A kicker and a kick returner, punt returner as well. All right. She got quite a bit of rolls here. Good punt is off. Good snap, good hole. Poor punt. A little, bit, a little bit of a... Selena picks it up. Selena picks it up inside, goes to the left side, down to the 50, outside, out of bounds at the 45-yard line. In, in rage territory. This is great field position for the Rebellion. There's no better way to want to start off your first drive of the year. Yep. Let's see what they are able to do for it. Yeah, and great field position too. So now it's now with Niji Martin, can it come out on the field here to lead her team off to a great start here? Yeah, she's been working all offseason. I understand Nin Ninji, she's played football for around 60 years. She spent the first 15 years of her career as a middle linebacker. But now with her coach, Cree Morris, she's learned how to play quarterback, and she's really adapting pretty well. She's always been a leader on and off the field. It's going to be interesting to see how she, how her hard work in the offseason has paid off. And also, she's also a head coach, or excuse me, not co head coach. She's currently a coach right now for the Del Norte, for Del Norte High School. Let's see what she does here. For, as well as the owner of the Rebellion. Yes, sir. First and 10 here. Three wideouts here for, or four wideouts. 
gives it up the middle and only gets about no, about maybe no gain to at least one yard loss on the carry. Yeah, Leslie Hubble got the carry there, but the blocking just wasn't there. The defensive line really really puts the pressure on him, and it's part of it. Yep. Going back into the pistol here. For second down and 11 here. Oh, with four out, out wide here. Second and 11. Uh, Capital, Capital City with three in the, four in the secondary. Give up the two number. Actually, Ninja keeps it to herself. Down the middle at the 40 yard line for a five yard pickup. There we go. That was a smart play right there. This is why she's been able to make the transition from middle linebacker to quarterback. She just she has a high IQ for the game of football. Like you said, she's been coaching at Del Norte for a while now. She's played for 16 years. She's won three gold medals with USA. And so right there, she made a great heads-up play. Yeah. Right, so, there's still a way to adapt both ways. The offense, offense and defense seems to pay out very well for her. Now let's see what she does here on the third and five. Still safe formation, four wide outs. More spread out on the field. He gets his mouth closed within the middle, and it's incomplete. Intended for number 13, Kirsten Sherminski. Uh, so that's going to lead really down to a fourth and five. Be interesting to see if they go for it. Looks like they might be going for it right here instead of punting the ball. Oh, very bold here, it looks like. So there's a little confusion on the play call here. Yeah, it looks like... And also, it was like Selena, Selena Gray, number 54, is now in the slot. What an Yeah, she's got quite a bit of roll. Five snap underway. Good snap. Overshoot, Selena. It's incomplete. That will be a turnover on downs. Not the greatest start, but still they were able to able to move it a little bit, move the ball a little bit. So yeah, I like their boldness, but just gotta try and make sure to get it executed next time. Yeah, exactly. And you know now. The Rage do have a little bit uh, better field position than they would have if it was a punt, but the Rebellion defense has looked pretty solid so far, so yeah. we'll see what they bring out. Oh, yeah, by the way, in case you want to know, also, we don't have a, anyone to do the scoreboard, so we're trying, so the referees are just kind of doing it manually in terms of like keeping the time. Of, time. Yeah, I give them credit for that. It's pretty tough, and it uh, makes it a little tough on everybody else as far as the fans know what's going on, us knowing the times, but um, they're doing their best out there, and we really appreciate it. Yes. There we go, first and 10 here at the 40 yard line. Gives, gives the hand of the number 23, up the middle. Good little run here. Up, the gain, up for gain about 11 at the 49. Exactly. First down for the, for the Rage. It is first down for the Rage. Okay. All right, thank you. They seem to be spreading the. Doing a great job running the ball for Capital City. Let's see if they uh, adapt to more of the running play here. This yeah, it looks like that's going to be their strong suit of the game. They're really going to have to make some adjustments on defense. Gives it off to the fullback. Oh, what a big smack here. Down to the 43-yard line for a five-yard pickup. For the, ra for the Rage. I believe that tackle was by Elliot Nguyen. That was a great one-on-one -on -one tackle right there. Yeah. Tackling the fullback like that. Yeah. Great job, Elliot. Yeah, strong. All right, let's While see. we're here, be sure to check out Fightin' USA. They provide game socks for the team along with their amazing titanium tapes and discs. To get yours, visit FightinUSA.com. Use the code SDR10 to get 10% off your order. Second down and five here for the Ridge. Two, two wide receivers. Another give to the running back. Off the middle and only gains about about three yards, really two yards short of the marker. And that'll be third down two coming up for the Ridge. The rebellion defense really has worked on their practice. Great. They're tackling in practice for this being their first ever game. I'm really impressed so far with their tackling ability. Yeah, they've been. Yeah, very good job by the running defense so far. But then now they're gonna have to stop a very big third down two here. In their own territory. This is a huge sure play for the rebellion right now. Yeah. Three wide receivers, about three. Three in the secondary. Th Oh, Ooh, they were able to draw them off sides. That's a false start. Looks like it's going to be against the Rage. 
That's going to set up. Ooh, false start on the offense. Excuse me from earlier. It was not an so offsides penalty. So it's third down and seven. All right, great. False start by the race. So that makes it third down and eight. Inside the 45-yard line. That's a huge penalty for the Rage. I mean, that gives the Rebellion a little bit of space to get a stop right here. Yeah. After the Rage, you got you got to play clean football to win a game. Oh, yeah. At least so far, Rebellion are up one nothing in that category. Actually. Well, let's see what they do here. Let's go. All right, we have a timeout by the Rage. Yeah. All right, well, while we're at it. Let's give out a shout out to one of our sponsors. Uh, if you're looking for a DJ, make sure you check out DJ Trey Flip and stop by and get a card or shirt from him. Also, I know you are probably not attending the game if you're listening to this live stream, but if you're hungry, make sure to check out Jack Up Brewery for the fifth quarter for our fifth quarter for the San Diego Rebellion. Join the team and coaches for a great local beer as well as the EMS food truck, which is here at the game. So that wouldn't apply to you. Yep. Perfect. All right, so I think the Rage are a little uh, enraged that they were yeah. had a false start there. Now they're uh, trying to figure out exactly what they want to run here to try to get a first down. Yeah, and, uh, I kind of got to shake them up a little bit, though. So they they got to they gotta figure out something now. They, you have to go to the passing game now for the Rage if you by with that. But if you're the Rebellion, you have more ideas to work with. Are you going to be a pass? Are you going to be a rush? At least you have. I think they're going to be more into cover two or cover three at least in case of the goes to the pass situation, which I think it's most likely going to be. Yeah, I totally agree with that 100%. Let's see what they do here. All right, remember, it is a third down and seven. Got the snap and hold. Does the left side, and it is intercepted by number 13, Christian Szymanski. Going down the sideline. Going down out of bounds of the four yard. Kelly Flag in the in midfield. Great job, Christian. Nice hands right there. Way to be a ball hog. There is a flag on the play. Let's see where it is. I believe the pick will stand. Yeah. Flag was thrown after the interception. It most likely be a legal block in the back from the on the interception by the Rebellion. Still, that is a huge play to get a stop right there on third and seven to be able to pick the ball off so they can get a little bit better field position. Exactly. And it will be against the Rebellion. He'll be set up at their own 42 yard line. Back for the huge interception by Christian Smirzinski. Makes it first down for the Rebellion. <laughs> That's a big game changer right there. That really changes the momentum. Going from that third and two to then having a third and seven and then being able to get an interception, it's a great job by the rebelling defense right there. It also gives, you know, makes up for what happened on that fourth down play after getting a turnover on downs. So, huge, huge play there. Yeah, for sure. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, Coach Cree Morris and his top and his five-two quarterback clinic, um, Nenji KD and Rebellion players have been seeing Coach for more than two seasons, and Nenji has been playing as a quarterback for the last four months. For more information, check out quarterbackcoach.org. And the pistol formation here, the four wide outs here for the Rebellion, on the first and 10 at the 42 yard line. Stefan Ninji, those looking to her halfback, oh, oh, incomplete right, right at the incomplete fingertips of number 31. Just out of reach. Number 31, Leslie Hubble. That's going to no start I think, I think that was a great play call, though, for the Rebellion right there. Yeah, I see the idea where it was going, but just not a very good execution. Yeah, and that's, there's nothing to worry about that. If you have the right game plan, the right. Ability, those plays are going to work out for you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Second down and 10 here for the Rebellion. Yeah, they're on 42. <laughs> little, little pass here. It's going to go for. Oh, it's a complete intended for Selena Graves. I really like the aggressiveness though. All right, but now that brings up a huge third and ten right here. Yeah. You want to try to get that first first down. After you get that first first down, there's just a sigh of relief by the Rebellion offense. So. Oh yeah, it, and definitely gives you more momentum. Exactly, especially yeah. coming off the interception like that, you want to be able to keep the momentum rolling. Let's see what they're able to do here. Yeah. Well, it's like they're going to still be in the same formations in the pistol for the four wide receivers out. And a, and the nickel formation here for the Capital City Rage here on a third and ten. A little bit of a high snap there. Ninji keeps it to herself, but she loses only about 
She's going to be tackled right around 37, 38 yard line. That's going to set up a fourth and long. If you're looking for some cool socks, go to fightingusa.com. Use the code SDR10 to get 10% off your order. All right, so that's now going to bring up about a fourth and 12, it looks fourth like. And fourth and 12. Will they bring on the punting unit? It looks like they will not. It looks like they are going to try to go for it. This is a mm, yeah. aggressive. Wow, she's she's being. Oh, now, she get, now, now they're going to have to Now comes the punter. Yeah, now comes the punting unit for the rebellion. <laughs> Looks like it'll be Selena Gray is going to be kicking the ball here. And the, oh. and number seven here to uh, be back to receive. I punt here, but not very deep enough. But she oh, doesn't call for a fair catch, and she's number seven is going down the sidelines, out of bounds, right around the 46 yard line. All right, a 20 yard pickup here on the return. I will get the Rays pretty decent field position. Coming off a, a decent punt. I thought she was going to fair catch it, but um, yeah, she did. She, so she, made, she made something happen, and now the rebellion are going to have to get another stop here. Um, they definitely do not want to allow a first down, keep them out of field goal range. We don't know how good their kicker is yet, but um, you'd expect a first down or two would get them a score. So, the Rebellion here, they're looking for another three and out for sure. Oh, yes, absolutely. If you're out here at the game today, make sure you check out Dance FX. We'll be providing our halftime show on our May 12th home game at our Cancer Awareness Game. Our PNS are just getting our, the crowd up for the defense here. The set person 10 up the middle. And it looks like she's going to gain, will go up to the 37 yard line for a gain of about eight yards. Second and two here for the Ridge. How much? You want me to watch one of those bunkers? I got it. You got it? Okay. Uh, looks, like, looks like one of the players is down for the Ridge. That's, looks like it's number. If I can read it correctly, number 71. It's always, oh, it's always tough to see that. We have the training unit coming out to see what's up. She's still down on the ground. Uh, that's that's pretty tough, especially if it's your first game of the season and you're, well, it's, you're going a man down just because, yeah, because no, of we're, injury. We're hoping that she's okay and um, all our thoughts and prayers are with her. Yeah. Well, looks like she might be. The raffle is walking the stands right now. Please, if you want some cold hard cash, make sure to get your tickets. Uh. Well, while we're still waiting for all, waiting for the recovery, the injury on the feel here what with all, with both teams just like now this is their first season here what do you what do you expect for the for both teams to do to get a good start for this season Jordan um I really think obviously both teams are trying to win that's why you play the game we play the game to win but I think they're just really trying to establish themselves put themselves on the map that other teams are not going to overlook them so I think for the rebellion it's going to come down to their defense making stops um it looks like the race drew up as number it's actually number 63 63 uh, gets up she is she is walking under her own power that is very good to see it's a yeah good sign. She does have some teammates helping her, but she is able to stand up. Uh, but yeah, back to the teams. Um, for the Rebellion, I just think they need to really, like I said, establish the defense, and then they need to find their identity as an offense. I don't think we know their identity yet. It looks mm -hmm. like they're um, they're definitely being aggressive, which I do like to see. That's how you win. That's how you go out and try to win. Because you know they're trying to win. They're not playing. Playing not to lose, they're playing to win. Yeah, that makes sense. And what's great about Ninja, well, the way Ninji does is that she seems to be really aggressive on the play calls. Even though, yeah, it hasn't, ex even though it hasn't like been executed perfectly just yet, I like the way that she's been like been aggressive to, in her play calling. Yeah, and before the second two player, I'd like to thank one of our sponsors, Tomboy X, underwear that fit regular bodies and that anybody can feel comfortable in, regardless of where they fell on the size or gender spectrum. So now it'll be a second and two here inside the 38 yard line in Rebellion territory. Ugh. Why? <laughs> second and two at the 37 yard line. So 
So it's going to be a single back formation here. Three wide receivers to the two to the left, one to the right. Here. Second or two. Don't be surprised if they hand it off to their fullback. And they do give it to the fullback. Look at her muscling her way. Still, she's still on her feet, but she's going to lose more and more yardage. There we go, Rebellion. Finally right. brought down at the end by number 44, Elia Nguyen. She's made some huge tackles on this fullback. She really is. Man. No fear. Great team tackles staying on the fullback. Yeah, absolutely fantastic here. That is exactly the play the Rebellion needed. Yes. It is now going to be... It looks like a third, third and long. two. They're gonna give her. They're gonna give her four progress. So it's gonna be a third and two. Third and two. Four progress. But that's a great stop. I mean, you know, second and two. You hand the ball to fullback. You're expecting to get a first down. So for the rebellion to get a stop right there, that is huge. This is a big third play. Right, third down play right here. Excuse yeah. me. Yeah. Oh yes. I would say they probably go back to the full third fullback two, again, maybe. Stop here for the rebellion. Let's say the fullback's now in motion into the right side, halfback in the in the backfield with three three wide receivers, two to the left, one to the right here. Looks like they are gonna hand it off to the halfback. That's my guess. No, they actually oh. give it to the fullback this time. Do a little... Trying to do a little impression of Marshawn Lynch, but he only gets down at around the 36 yard line. But, it, but it's enough for the for a first down here. Tackle there by, I believe it was by number 44, Elliot Nick New Nguyen. 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 She's been everywhere today. She's making plays like crazy on defense. She's definitely been working working hard in the off season and. You know, she brought her down for a short game, but that was a big first down for the Rage. Oh, yes. There we go, first and 10 here for the Rage here. Gives it off to the number 23, the halfback. Nice tackle there in the backfield. By number, by number, by number 31, Le Leslie Hubble. Yeah, great play there. While I'm here, I want to give a quick thanks to our man, Peter Stoll and San Diego Digital Imagery. They uh, provide everything from our programs, tickets, and flyers, also to our live streaming. There isn't anything they can't do for your team or business. Be sure to check them out at second San Diego Digital Imagery. There's also two in the place, and now it's going to be set up for a second and 12 at the 35. And, and It'll be interesting to see what the Rays do here. I'm expecting them to try to run the ball again. They've been running pretty effectively this no, drive. They're pass. Looks like they're passing the ball. A little pressure here. Oh, oh, she goes. Run down in the backfield by number 31, Leslie Hubble with the sack. Good job with the outside rush here by Leslie to get the quarterback for a huge loss on the play. That was great. Yeah, not only is it going to bring up a long third down, but that pushes them beyond the 35-yard line. That's huge because now that's going to give them an opportunity for a little bit better field position if they're able to get stopped right here. Yep. And gets the right out of field goal range. So. They have nachos, candy, hot dogs, and hamburgers. They will also be at our fifth quarter at Jacked Up Brewery. So, that, so it's going to set up a second and 14 here for the Rage here. Yeah, they're definitely going to try to go for another pass here, but um, it'll be interesting to see how how well the pass rush is. They've been doing pretty well lately. I can tell they've been trying to stop the run and they're figuring out to adjust and how the pass as well. Looks like it's gonna be a blitz here from the re from the rebellion. It is a blitz. Throws to the right side, and it's and it's at, in and out of the hands of number 18. Incomplete pass. In and out of the hands of number 18 there. It's gonna set up a fourth down and nice 14. Nice recovery by the Bulldog right there, Sarah Rodriguez. <laughs> you know, they, they, they risked it with the blitz. They got beat a little bit, but they were able to recover okay. and make a nice play for the incomplete pass. Oh, yes. So fourth along here, it'll be interesting to see what they go for. It looks like they, uh, they bring out the lesson unit, but we'll see. We'll see what happens here. If anyone want to join EMS Catering at our fifth quarter at Jacked Up Brewery, they are your fifth home of your San Diego Rebellion. Join the team of coaches for great local beer at Jacked Up Brewery, as well as the EMS food truck. Also, well, they are going to go four here on a fourth down. Four down, down about fourth and about 14 team. yards, exactly. Ooh, uh, Pretty risky there, but let's see what goes on here. I think they have nothing to lose. They're going to go for it. A little quick snap here to the right side. Pass no, falls incomplete. incomplete. Turnover on downs. Another. Rebellion get the ball once again. And a good field position, too, right around the 43, or no, excuse me, 38 yard line. So that's great, good field positioning for the Rebellion. Yep, while we wait for the drive to get underway, make sure to check out Play Again Now Recovery. They are proud supporters of the Rebellion from the beginning. They provide products that help keep 
Are players feeling ready to go? To get yours, visit their Facebook page or playagainnow.com. <laughs> All right, let's see here. It's going to be a good field position here for Ninji Martin here on first and 10 at the 38 yard line. They're still looking for their first first down of the game. Yep. Let's see what they do here to kind of spark the offense, get it going. Looks like it's going to be. A Looks like on defense it's going to be in a nickel formation. Yep. And the Rebellion are still in a shotgun formation here. First down to Rebellion. Just in case I can't sleep. All right, here we go. 33-yard line. A little keep, keep away, a little option here to number one. To Armstrong. Get, gains only about a couple. Nice little play by Ronnie Armstrong. I like, I like the idea here. Get something going, you know, change it up a little bit. Got a little run there by Rock. Ronis kicks up about three. It'll be second down at seven here for the Rebellion. Second and seven at the 41 yard line. So that does bring up a second and seven now. Looks like they're going to be in the shotgun formation here. Yep, still in the same pistol formation with four wideouts three to the left, one to the right. A little keep, keep to Ninji, still on her feet, running to the right side and just getting the first down there. Great job of Martin right there, being able to turn what looked like was going to be brought down to the backfield to turn that into a big play. Yeah, good seven yard pickup there for Ninji, that's going to set up a... Looks like either a third and short, maybe a first oh. down. Oh, it's, that's actually a third down. Sorry, Gretchen, I thought it was a first, excuse me. It's going to be third and uh, third about a little one. less than one yard. So that was a great job right third there. Third inches. <laughs> yeah, really showing off her athleticism there. That comes from all her years playing football as a middle linebacker. They have 16 years of experience, definitely paying off here so far. That's a fault. That's going to be a false start here on, on the Rebellion. Let's see what the officials it. rule. Full and indeed it was. It was a false start on the Rebellion. Uh, so, so instead of a fourth and inches, now going to be a fourth third. and five. Third and five. Oh, third and five. I'm, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. All right, so that's a big penalty right there, but let's see if they're able to recover now. Definitely changes up how, how you go about this third down right here. Mm -hmm. so now it's third and five. Look. Ooh. Ninji just keeping to herself. Didn't look like it. Uh, it looked like she was trying to give it, give it to the halfback, but just the defense got there too quickly there. Yeah, well, I know the, def the defense. No gain on the play. Seemed like they knew what was coming there. It was a great job by the defense. There's not going to bring up a fourth. Four down and five. More than five. And we have a timeout rebellion. Timeout, timeout rebellion now. Special thanks to San Diego Digital Imagery um, from our programs, tickets, and flyers. Uh, to our live stream, there isn't anything they can do for your team or business. Is there any sponsors to read off? I already did. Oh, you did? Oh, okay. Because these ones were like only for that particular game. So. All right, so here, so now, I'm oh, sorry. So now it's a fourth and five here. What, will we see Ninji and Martin's play, aggressive pay, play call in here in this play? Yeah, I think so. I think she's going to be the one that's going to be the focal point of the offense um, pretty much all game long and probably here on this fourth down as well. Oh, yeah. So out of the time, they're obviously coming up with some some sort of play to try to get pick up a first down. I do not think they're going to be punting the ball here. They would not have wasted time out for that. Oh, yeah. So I think it's going to be up to Ninji to kind of use her brains to either throw the ball or maybe take it herself, depending on what the defense shows okay. her. Mm -hmm. Try to get to show off the experience. All right, nice. huge fourth down right here. Remember, the Rebellion is still looking for their first first down of the game. This is a huge play. Yep. Three, three wide receivers. Looks like about three wide receivers now. Two to the left, one to the right here. Oh, actually, no, four wide. Excuse me. Thirteen, number thirteen, uh, Shaminsky is actually in the slot. I think that might be her target here. 
I think so too. A little give here to Armstrong here, but nothing there. No first. Didn't get the first down. It is close. It is close. No, Let's see where the referees mark the ball. Uh, it looked like he was about two yards short of the marker. So it's like, it looks like he's going to set up a fourth down. No, turnover it's going to be a turnover on, down. turnover on downs, correct. And that's a turnover on downs for the Rage defense. All right, so the Rage caught a break there with a false start, and they made some great plays to receive the ball with some pretty solid field position on the rebellion, in Rebellion territory. If you're yep. looking for some cool socks for your team, visit FightingUSA.com. Use the code SCR10 to get 10% off your order. All right, here we go, first and 10 at the 47 here. So this will be the third drive for the Rage. I'm expecting them to go back into the, back to the number of 23 here. And they do, gives it to the right side. Cuts in the middle and into the secondary. Oh, she goes backwards. Raw down the center, we'll give her some forward progress get, there. Yeah, gonna be like two yards short of the marker. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna bring up about a second and two. Uh, Looks like one. Of, looks like uh, number 77, Tanya Lunas. No, that was, was a great recovery by the Rebellion defense. She looked like she was going to have some open field right there to work her way and get her get herself a first down. But the Rebellion were able to swarm their way into uh, bringing her down. Yeah, I was actually going to say that it looked like Luna looked like she was a bit slow to get up, but she's actually good now. So it sets up actually sets up a second and it's like about seven, five. 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 Second and five. Excuse us. Looks like that's the end of the quarter. Yeah, I assuming. think that is the end of the quarter. We do not have a game clock, so we do not know. Yeah. We'll see if they switch sides. Uh, still no war yet, but I think it. I think it is gonna be yeah, it looks like, end of the quarter. Yeah, it looks like that was the end. Score still 0-0. Zero, zero. Zero, zero. Let's give it up for the oh. San Diego Rebellion. Right, so that was a hard fought first quarter. Both yeah. teams showing solid defensive skills. It's now going to come down to, it looks like it's going to be a defensive slugfest. Who, yeah. who on offense is going to score first? Yep, still tied 0-0, but hey, anything can happen right now. Still too early in the in the ball game, so we'll see what happens here. I think it, I think there will be a lot of aggressive play calling by both sides, but we'll see who exactly. comes out on top. Exactly, another rebellion like to have a score by now, but I think they should be pretty content that the game is still 0-0. Obviously, anything can happen, so as long as you're in the game all game long, that's all that matters, because you will have a chance at the end to come out on top. So that's second and five in and around the 42-yard line for the Rage. All right, so now start, start the second quarter. I want you to check out Philippi's Pizza in downtown Escondido if you have that pizza craving tonight. Second down and five. A little gift to, the, to number 23 on the left side here. Cuts to the left. Getting dragged down around the 37-yard line. So looks like it's awfully looks close like to She does pick up a first down. Awfully close to the first down. Tackle there by number 31, Leslie Hubble. And once again, I want to thank San Diego Digital Imagery for, for bringing us our programs, tickets, and flyers. Also, our live streaming. There isn't anything they can't do for your team or business. Be sure to check them out. And if you're looking for, for a DJ for your next party or event, stop on by DJ Treeflet for a card or shirt. First down and... Ten in the 36-yard line for the Rage. All right, first and ten here. Let's see it. Look, give up to number five, up the middle, and only gains. Still, still on her feet, but she's. Looks like they're gonna mark her right around the 30-yard line for a pick seven-yard pick, about seven-yard pickup. So they have second down and three for the Rage. Yeah, the running game has been pretty solid for the Rage so far. Yeah, I've got, getting good runs up the middle, so I think they might be sticking to that for quite a while. Yeah, I think so. I think it's time for the Rebellion to adjust, and I believe they will. 
We got second and three here for the Rage. Inside. So we got the shotgun left. formation. I'm actually going shotgun this time. With Number the four in, in the, the slot. Backfield. Pass it to she's looking left. And it's oh, almost intercepted. Picked off by number eight for Newsom, but it was right in her hands, but falls incomplete. No, that's a great play by Brooke. You know, she was almost able to get that pick, but it's a big stop right there, forcing a third down and three. And great coverage too by the by the rebelling defense. Oh, the receiver was all the receivers were just smothered right there. Oh yeah, that was a great job. By the <laughs> they they seemed to know it was coming, and they they definitely took advantage of that. Did they go back to the air? Or they just keep it to give it to number number five here. I think they're gonna go to the ground right here. Well, let's see what all they right, do here. Third, third down and three right here. Sorry, it's okay. They'll give up the middle, runs That's from the left side, and going to be enough for at least a first down. First down around the 22-yard line. Get pick up about eight, eight yards, oh, huh? The fourth yeah, they'll be announcing it, or we will be actually at that point. Yeah. Pick up about eight yards on the carry. That says them another you first down. That just be like the winner of the drawing will be in the fourth quarter. 50-50 drawing. All right, so what do we got here? We got it's a first, first and ten. It's first and ten at the 22-yard line. On an eight-yard pickup on number five for the Rage. You want to get your name on that? Be sure to purchase the tickets. All right, so the Rage have definitely been driving downfield here. You know, they started off with great field position at the end of the first quarter. First and ten at the 22-yard line. carried over here in the second quarter. It's time for the Rebellion to make a stop. Let's get for the Rebellion to make a stop here. They, they do here on a first and ten at the 22. Shot got set. Good. A little pressure there and incomplete. Great, great coverage. On Good coverage on number, by number 20. Uh, sorry, number 14, Shamira Gillen on the coverage here. Second down and 10 for the Rage. Yeah, I don't know what the quarterback was thinking there. She was absolutely smothered on that play. Yeah. Stopping up second and 10. Looks like the Rebellion are here to build a little bit of momentum right now. If they can get a, if they can get a stop right here, it's really going to carry over. Yeah. Well, let's see what they do here. It's going to be second 10 here. And the shotgun, it'll be a shotgun, four, four wide receivers to the left, to the right. Oh, she's getting, she's getting pressured up the middle. She tries to go scrambling, incomplete, in and out of the hands of number 13. Passes Good coverage complete. by number four, 14, uh, Shamira Gerland. That's going to be third down coming up. Yeah, great coverage. I do have to give their quarterback some credit there, though. That was the perfect throw for that situation. She got it. She threw it where only her receiver and caught with it. Her receiver was not able to come up with it. Fortunate for the rebellion there, but that was actually a pretty good throw. But she was also covered in the. Oh, in she the was backfield. absolutely smothered. She had. She would have been made a phenomenal player. Oh, oh, great job by the rebellion defense. See if I will play in the factor again here on a third and ten here. And the team included four rebellion braces and a t-shirt. Raffle tickets are dollar each. Six for five or fifteen for ten. And just a reminder, be sure to check out Tomboy X underwear that fit regular bodies and that anybody can feel comfortable in, regardless of where they fell on the size or gender spectrum. It is now time for a third down and 10. This is going to be a big play for the Rebellion defense. Third down and 10 here. Shotgun formation here for the, for the Rage. A little pressure up the right side, and it's going to be incomplete. Pressure build by number 81, Vanika Jarvis. Great. Great job by the Rebellion. That's just a fourth down. Great job, Nika. That was a phenomenal play right there. So he's up a huge. Fourth down and ten. Looks like they got, are they gonna go for it? Looks like they're fourth down. Looks like they are gonna go for it. I don't think they have any trust in their field goal unit. Hmm. This has been a great bend, don't break mentality by the rebellion right now. They gave up a couple first downs, but they are just really nailing down, nailing it down right here. Oh yeah, very great, great job on the coverage. So let's see what, let's see what they'll go here. I think they're gonna go for the pass in this situation. Fourth and ten, I would believe so. Oh yes. <laughs> Looks like they're going to go in the pistol, 25 at right along number two. Three wide outs to the left, one to the right. Oh, they tried they to try get it. They tried to draw. That's going to be a false start against the Rage. I saw they were trying to, they were trying to draw a false start. Looks like she, <laughs> I don't know what the quarterback was doing there. It looks like she was trying to pretend, oh, that, oh, I lost the ball. 
But Looks like she was trying to do something, but a little miscommunication there. It's definitely going to benefit the Rebellion. It's going to set up about a fourth and 15 now. It's definitely cost them big the time. 28 yard line. Jeez, the goal, that's going to give got to get him in a really big pickle here for the Rage. Definitely a little bit more breathing room now for the Rebellion. Yeah, absolutely. There you go, fourth and 15 and around the around the 30, 28-yard line here. Four wide receivers to the, to the left, to the right, and a shotgun formation here for the Rage. A little pass it. Right, pass to the right side, and it's incomplete. Intended for number seven, and it's going to be turnover on downs. Great coverage by Mira Jalen right there. That's going to be a turnover on downs now for the Rebellion. Rebellion ball. Great job by that defense. Absolutely spectacular. Remember, after the game, make sure to head up to Jack Up Brewery for the fifth quarter home of your San Diego Rebellion. Join the team and coaches for great local beer as well as the EMS food truck. Once again, don't know why I mentioned the EMS food truck. <laughs> Now you're just making me hungry. <laughs> All right, anyway, so it's going to be set up a first and 10 here at the 27 yard line for the Rebellion. All the momentum is once again swung into their favor. Yep. A little keep away from Ninji. Casts off to Armstrong here, picking up some good, well, trying to pick up some yards, but didn't get to the line. A little bit of a yard behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah, I know that was a great job by Martin. She uh, waited as long as she possibly could to try, try to get, give her running back some room right there. But unfortunately, the Rage defense was all over it. It's bringing up what now? About a second and nine? Se second and nine. Second and nine, okay. It's all about picking up those positive yards every single time. Yeah, but mainly also you want to get the first down here. That is true. They're still looking for that elusive first, first down. Anyways, yeah, they. So far, they have not had a first down here. Let's see if they can get one here on a second and nine. A little pass here from Ninji. She's going to throw it to the right side. And it's incomplete. Intended for number 13, Christine Shaminsky. That's going to set up a third down and nine for the Rebellion. Yeah, that was a tough throw there. There was only a very small window to get it in, and she was almost able to get the ball there. But now that is going to bring up, like you said, a third and nine. It looks like it's going to be a no huddle here for the Rebellion here. Yeah, exactly. You want to go tempo, tempo, tempo. This is a huge play right now. You want to do anything you can to get a first down. And see if you can get your first, too. And the pistol here, three to the left, one to the right here for the Rebellion. She's looking left. And it's intercepted by number seven for the Rage. Down near the 44-yard line. Oh, that's not the way you wanted to do it there. And they so far still no first down for the Rebellion, and it cost them an interception. Yeah, that's right. Like I said, this has been a battle of the defenses tonight, and um, it's time for the Rebellion defense to step up once again, keep this game tied at zero. And looks like they're going to set up here at the 44-yard line for the Ridge. If you're looking for a DJ for your next party or event, make sure to check out DJ Trey Flip. Stop by and get a Carter shirt from him. <laughs> first and ten, rebellion on defense. That. All right, here we go. Second, first and ten at the 43 yard line. 44. A little give to up the middle to number 23, and she's gonna only get to the 40 yard line. For about a three yard game. Check it out. It's up. If you couldn't make it out here tonight, be sure to be here next Saturday for Youth Sports Night. Bring your kid in one of their personal jerseys and you get in for $5. You must have at least one kid for every two adults to get the $5 ticket price. That's a game four yards, excuse me. So that's us up now. Second and six around the 40 yard line. Give to the fullback, and she's only going to get about, about a couple right around the 38-yard line. All right, that's going to set up a big third down play here. The Rebellion need to get a stop right now. They do need to get a stop immediately. Looks like it's going to be about third and two and a half. Three. <laughs> third and three. That. Yep, third and three. <laughs> Jack the Brewery is your fifth quarter home for your San Diego Rebellion. 
join the team and coaches for great local beer as well as the EMS food trip. We go third and three here for the Rage. Rebellion going to need to get a stop here. Oh, a little bit of wobble and snap here. Gives it to the halfback number 23. And she's going to only gain, lose nice about, at least three yards Rebellion. of the play. That was tackle to the fourth, four. fourth down Great and tackle six. by Iris Jones right there in the Iris backfield. Jones. Sticking with it and bringing her down by the jersey. Yeah. Great job. Big yes, de definitely a big development in the running defense down. so far. Alright, so it's gonna bring up what fourth and six right now. The rebellion are looking for another turnover on downs. Oh yeah. You want, like, the third tonight, including an interception. Yeah. So that's pretty impressive right now. The defense looks very, very good. Yeah, they've been doing great in the secondary, but but uh, definitely I think gonna need a big stop here. Well all night. And that's gonna be down to the right side. It's incomplete. Turn number on downs for the rebellion. All right, Rebellion ball here in the second quarter. I'm sure time is winding down there, looking to get on the scoreboard. Going into halftime, you want to have the lead, especially when you do receive the ball in the second half. Yeah. Be sure to be here next Saturday for Youth Sports Night. Bring your kid in one of their personal jerseys, and you get in for $5. You must have at least one kid for every two adults to get that $5 ticket price. Well, this is going to be a pretty crucial drive here because they... They still have not got one first down yet, so this is pretty crucial here for the Rebellion. You know, they've been, make, they've been making nice plays. They've had some great calls. They're just waiting for things to go their way, and I think it's going to. Absolutely. Give it to Armstrong up the middle, and still fighting for it, nice and it gains about Ronnie seven Armstrong, yards. That, the line. that was a great run by Ronnie right there. That's exactly how you want to start up this drive. You want to pick up that momentum. It's now going to be, what, second and three? So you want to do pick up positive yards, positive yards, positive yards. Yeah, I preach that enough. And definitely, yeah, but definitely try to get, is doing. And definitely get get you get you put met better options. Whether you want to go play action, you want to go for the run. Anyway, here let's see what they do here on second and three at the 47. The give to Armstrong up the middle. Look at her go. Up the middle. That's going to be a Violet. first down. The first one of the Violet. night for the San Diego Rebellion. That is huge. Finally got a first down. Right around the 50 yard, right around midfield. So, great job, great, job, great run by Armstrong. Just fighting for yards and getting a first down. All right, now they've gotten that first one out of the way. I think everybody's going to take a deep breath, and now things are going to start coming more naturally to them. Yep. Now you can say, all right, we got our first first down. Let's keep it rolling. Let's get another one and another one. One yep. play at a time. Keep gaining positive yards. Good things will happen. Absolutely. It's like first and 10 here in the 49. A little keep it, keep it. A little option here to little Armstrong. Option. There we go. Get to the right side and down right about the 45 yard line for a nice job right there. That was right. Pickup. Nearly to perfection right there. That was that's exactly how you run that read option right there. Looks right, like a timeout time out by the Rage. So during this timeout, make sure to check out Play Again Now Recovery, the proud supporters of the Rebellion from the beginning. They provide products that help keep our players ready, feeling ready to go. To get yours, visit their Facebook page or playagainnow.com. Once again, that is playagainnow.com. Yeah, nice. All right, so all this time out, what do you think? Uh, what do you think the rebellion should keep doing to get get this drive? So keep going on the ground to give it to Armstrong. Yeah, I would keep giving it to Armstrong. She seems to be giving them a little boost on the offense, and um, so far the Rage haven't had an answer for her. It's been the one thing that's been working consistently for the rebellion all night long. You know, stick with it until the Rage, so they uh, are not going to put up with it anymore. <laughs> But no, like I, like I said, one, after that first first down coming from my playing experience, you definitely, you definitely, that weight is off your shoulders. You've always been like, all right, we, it's our first game. We're ready to make a yeah. statement. Yeah. They're ready to make that statement now. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's been showing with their aggressive play calling. Even though they didn't execute in the first quarter, it looks like they're starting to get a little bit in the second quarter. So we'll see what happens here. 
exactly no I know they have some great coaching some great play callers and all it's gonna do is now things are starting to go their way they're starting to figure it out get their timing down they're looking really solid let's, let's see what happens here we got what about second down and five. Second down and five at the 44 yard line for the rebellion in range territory three wide receivers here give to up the middle on the run there was by number 31, Christine Stoll. We're getting about a couple. Nice run by Leslie Hubble on that play. Oh, that was, oh, Leslie Hubble, excuse me. Makes a third and five for the Let's Rebellion. Bring up a third and about five for the Rebellion right now. This is a huge play on third down once again. I think they have all the faith they're going to be able to get this first down right now. Yeah. yeah, see here, they spread out the field with four wide receivers. Look, looks like a little option play. Gives a, to number nice 31. Jump. First down. I got a first down. Right around the 31 yard line. line. Good pick. Good the, a pickup of 15 on the play. That is what I'm talking about right that, there. Great job. Great run there on the option play on the outside. That is exactly what needed to be done. The Rebellion executed that to perfection. So now they're moving the chains. Once again, that's their second first down. It's time. Uh, they're really on a roll right now. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be tough for the Rage to stop them. Yes, as long as they continue to spread in the field, it looks like they've been looks like they continue to gain more successful on this drive. Let's see, what, see what happens here on the first and 10 at the 32. Looks like a pass here of the, of the middle, and it's incomplete. incomplete. Through the hands of Shavinsky, that's going to be a second and 10. I like the aggressiveness there. I like the aggressiveness. Yeah. Still a great throw. They're still working out the timing and the passing game. That's going to come over time. Thank you, Will. Let's we'll see what they do here. That's going to be second and ten here. In the pistol formation here for for the rebellion. Give to oh big hit. Ooh, she hits a brick. Stays wall on there. her feet. Maybe one on the play there for Hubble. That's gonna set up a third and nine for the rebellion. Oh, she just hit a brick wall. She knows there. how to take a hit. Jeez, that was yeah. she ran right into a brick wall there, but I give her lots of credit. She stood up there and was able to not lose any yardage. Absolutely. So now we got a third and nine for the Rebellion here. This is another big third down conversion right here. Yep, they're down here. The third. Maybe another ten to get to the into the red zone. A little option here to Hubble, go into the outside and tackle at the 25 yard line. That's going to be about two yards short of the of the first down. It's definitely been their go-to third down play on this drive, and it seems to be picking up positive yards for them every single time. <laughs> that is going to bring a fourth down. I, I do imagine they are going to go for it. They yeah, do still have the offensive like, unit on the field. Sorry. Yeah, it does look like they are going for it right now. It looks like they're going to spread more of the field here with four wide receivers. It's a fourth and two. Let's make some noise for the rebellion as they go for it on fourth down. Fourth down here. Looks like he's. Oh, oh what? Oh, I am. Here's there was a little bit of what? confusion there. What in the world? What in the world just happened there? Looks like no, were they trying to fake him or what? Miscommunication. What in the world happened? But all right, well, it did come to an abrupt start, but that was a great drive for the rebellion. You gotta look for the little things here. Going into halftime. You figured out that you were able to move the chains a little bit, so now it's time for that defense to make some more great stuff. And it will be first and ten for the raid. Yeah. And then she wasn't away. No, I know. Yeah. All right, so we got a first and ten here for the rage. They got a long field to go against this stout rebellion defense. Looks like Ninja's trying to go for the blitz. Well, she actually goes back. Look at the little run here. Look at her go. 
Down around the 50 yard line for number 20. Tackled by number, number 44, Nichuan. That's going to, anyway, excuse me. That's going to set up a first down at midfield. Great job by Elliot. She's been everywhere. She it seems like she's a part of every single tackle the rebellion have made today. That was Nichuan, by the way. That made a tackle. Yeah, Nichuan, that's what I said. Oh, I thought you said Elliot. I'm sorry. Elliot Nichuan. Oh. <laughs> I get that mixed. I didn't think of it as the last name or whatever, but whatever. <laughs> that was your comedy spiel brought to you by Jordan and Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, anyways, out of that comedy spear, it's going to be a first and 10 here at the 48 yard line for the Ridge. You know, give the oh, she hit the brick wall there. Yeah, just piled up. It's only got a couple there for the Ridge. <laughs> it's a great tackle by the entire defensive line right there. <laughs> only a pick of about second two eight. yards. Gonna bring up second and eight. <laughs> You know, the Rage really do have a truck in the backfield, but so far she hasn't been able to pick up that much yards. The Rebellion no. have been all over her all day long. No, she's either gone backwards or she just hits and hits No one's the trying ball. to be the star, bringing them down by themselves. They're all just coming in together and uh, making big plays. Yeah, that's that's what I like to see. Just a bunch of team team effort. is what, What's key here? Oh, a little Bad missed here on the snap here. Looks like it was almost Number rehearsed. Rolls to the right side, and the pass is complete. Around, around the 35-yard th th uh, line by number 18. That's going to be a pickup of about about seven yards. That's going to be a first down here. You know, I don't know what happened on that snap right there, but it looked pretty calm. It almost looked like it was rehearsed. But I don't think it was. I think that was just a good job by them. Yeah. It's all right, the Rebellion. Well, they made four, up four up for, for a first down. Yeah. No, that's going to bring them another first down, first down and ten for the Rage, but the Rebellion are ready to make a stop right here. Once again, if you're in town, make sure to check out, join us at Jacked Up Brewery for the fifth quarter home of your San Diego Rebellion. Join the team and coaches for great local beer as well. And remember, if you're not too much into the beer scene, there is Felipe's Pizza in downtown Escondido. <laughs> All right, well, anyways, it's going to set up a third and... Or excuse me, uh, first and ten at the 34-yard line for the Rage. It's big time. The Rage are doing very well when they're on their side of the field. Number 18 in the slot. Goes to the right side for number seven. And it's complete. Caught it. Caught on the 12. There's a flag on the play. Out of the 10. Flag down on the play, though. We'll see what, we'll see what the flag is. Flag is on who? I honestly did not see where the flag was, but it looks like the refs are trying to figure that out themselves. <laughs> it looked like it came around like the 20-yard line, from the way I saw it. Well, I think it could be on the Rage. Or, I mean, not, not the Rage, the Rebellion. Looks like we'll see they're discussing and we'll have a decision right now. In just about another minute. Looks like they're going to go discuss it with the coaching staff. On the the or, or was there a miscue on the flag? I'm not quite sure. If you're having that pizza craving later, make sure to check out Filippi's Pizza in downtown Escondido. I could go for some pizza right about now. I could too. <laughs> well, maybe we'll, anyways, we will get the call from the refs. Uh, still trying to make talk to coaches, see what they need want to do here. Well. Okay, well, that was quite a while, whatever happened there. It looks like it was a penalty on the Ra Rebellion, so it's going to be set up a first and 10 around the 20 yard line. First and 10 for the Rage at the 20 yard line. Oh, a little high snap there. Just a bit up Just a bit and away. Oh. Tackle, tackle around the 33 yard line. Not a bit. 
very big miscue there for the Rage. No, that's another Good job by number 31. great thing to happen, happen for the Rebellion right there. And that will wrap up the half. End, end of the half. Score right now. Rebellion zero. Rage zero. No going away though. We still got the second half coming. That was a great first half for both teams defensively. Both teams still trying to figure it out on the offensive side. Looks like it's going to come down to whoever's able to score the ball first. Yep. So far it's just been a great defense. So see how that goes. All right. So I guess now we switch, huh? Yeah. And once again, be sure to join us next Saturday for Youth Sports Night. Bring your kids in one of their personal jerseys and you will get in for $5. You must have at least one kid for every two adults to get the $5 okay. ticket price. Uh, we'll be having the raffle tickets for play again now recovery. Um, the team will be providing a recovery bundle, which is for the play again now shirt, hat, and two bottles of product. Find it for some of their titanium discs, and uh, there will also be four belly bracelets and a t-shirt. Raffle tickets are a dollar each, six for five, or 15 for 10. Or if more pull our cash as your prize, get tickets for our 50-50 raffle. You get half of whatever we raise. So the same as the recovery bundle, one each for six, or, or six for five dollars, or fifteen for ten. And also, if you are hungry, EMS Catering is here to meet your food and drink needs. They have nachos, candy, tacos, and hamburgers. They will also be at our fifth quarter at Jack Up Room. All right, as we said, it is halftime. Make sure to fill up on your drinks, grab a snack, and be ready to join us in the third quarter. We are going to turn it over to Luke and Nick, our other co-hosts. And don't go anywhere. There's still more football to come. All right, we want to give a quick shout-out to DJ Trey Flip for those nice beats. If you're looking for a DJ, stop by and get a quarter shirt from him. It looks like we'll be starting the third quarter soon. My name's Luke. I'm joined by my co-host Nick. What's up, everybody? Glad to be here. Formerly of the uh, last word, but now we're the here. The last right? word on KKSM, <laughs> and right. now we are broadcasting sports. That's Welcome. right. Welcome from sports radio to sports announcing right here live at the uh, the game between the San Diego Rebellion and the Rage. The Rebellion kicked off to begin the first half, so they're getting it here. Start things off in the second. Nick, what did you like the most about uh, that first half? It the first half was a good test right, of both offense and defense. The Rebellion did have uh, some good looks on offense, but they definitely do need to step it up on defense because the Rage was able to move the ball really yeah, well. Yeah, I agree. It kind of went both ways. Like, obviously, I believe both these teams, this is their first times really ever existing. So Yeah, this is the first time existing for both teams. This is their first year. And so, obviously, this makes it their yeah, first game. Yeah, they're really trying to figure things out right now. And you can tell, like, the way the offense is the run. They're, they're very strong with the run and stuff. And this is the first of two games between these two, which uh, today is at the San Diego Rebellion's home turf, and then May 5th is going to be at Capital City's home turf. Yeah, so we're definitely looking forward to that. Uh, here we go, first down at the 49-yard line. Great field position for the Rebellion here, Nenji Martin in the backfield. It's just going to start things off with Lisa Hubble, or Leslie Hubble, excuse me. And she's been having a great first half. Uh, only a couple yards on that play, but I think she's been one of the bigger factors for the uh, for the Rebellion so far. It's been number yeah, 31, Leslie. Leslie Hubble has definitely been on both sides of the ball, uh, yeah. I would definitely yeah, say so. She's been playing running back, she's been playing defensive line, and she's been killing it. And, yeah, making tackles all over the field on defense, getting yards on offense. It's going to be exciting to see what she has in the store for the second half. Yeah, exactly. We still have a whole half of football left to go and a whole long season. This is only game one. And here we go. Rebellion run out of the option, but Nenji Martin gets stuffed early on that play. And you, we, we saw a lot of this in the first half yeah. that Nenji Martin takes the ball, either keeps it or pitches it off. But when she keeps the ball, 
she is a powerhouse. Absolutely. Unfortunately, we have an injury on the field right now for the Rage. Injury, but like uh, you were saying about Nanji Martin, she's obviously their biggest player. I think you can make a comparison that she's their Cam Newton. Like, she's this big quarterback. She is. That, because Cam Newton is hard to tackle, and Nanji yep, Martin is exactly. hard to tackle. Exactly. She's a Florida Tim Tebow. She's a Carolina Cam Newton. She's just that big quarterback that's hard to bring down that you can rely on and run quite a few options with her, too. So it's cool to see. Yeah, so we'll be looking for that in the more in the second half because it is what worked for them in the first yeah, half. Yeah, definitely. You see their biggest yards were gained by her. Yeah, but do remember that it is zero to zero. Right. No one scored so yet. So the ball has moved about from the 20 on one side to the 20 on the other side. So the ball has really been all over the field, but... Um, we'll just wait and see what the Rebellion's plan is for the second half. Yeah, but and they really have, like, for anybody that did see the live feed of the scrimmage, and number 25 is getting up there, so that's good news. Uh, but for anyone that watched the scrimmage, these are obviously very different plays. They were showing, they weren't showing what they were going to bring to this they one They definitely at all. are. They are totally different plays. And thanks for... So here we go, it's third down now for the Rebellion. I wouldn't pay attention to that, that's too much. <laughs> Nancy Martin in the backfield with uh, Ronnie Armstrong. And, and as we pitch. were seeing the, the famous Ooh. option by Nancy Martin. And it works, I think that's a first down. Great pitch there, she let the defense get as close as they possibly could. And then gave it off to Ronnie, who's a pretty quick running back. We've seen her burst through pretty quick a few yeah, times. I am amazed for what I saw in the first half of Ronnie Armstrong. So now it's the second half, and she already got one carry for about six, seven yards. And uh oh, that's another injury on the field for the Rage. Hopefully, she's okay. But I mean, this does happen later in games for the less conditioned team sometimes you'll see some yeah, injuries that is like that what me as a coach and always playing tell your players if you're not conditioned injuries are more likely to happen and we see two right here for two the capital back city back rage injuries so obviously you hope she's all right but um yeah we just have to wait and see until she gets off the field I think the biggest factor so far has been size between uh, both si uh, teams. And as I wait for my co-host Nick to get back, I just want to talk about how most of the gains that you've seen on the runs have come from the outside. You've hardly seen teams. I, earlier in the game, you saw the fullback run through like maybe with five defenders trying to tackle her. But a lot of the stuff has been around the outside. It's very rarely going up the middle. And if it is, it's a short loss. So it's hard to tell. Um, well, it's hard to tell what they'll do from here on out, but obviously the game plan should be more go towards the outside because that's been what's worked so far. And now Nick's back uh, in the booth. Uh, we're still waiting yes, on the injury here. Yes, we were here. checking on um, our Facebook live stream, and we got our technical team right above us on the yep, uh, on that. the booth. And they are aware it is lagging, so thanks for the uh, notice, Jim. Yeah, we'll be getting that fixed. And... Uh, yeah, it looks and like now it's it still. Looks like the she is. Number seven's getting off on her own accord. Uh, unfortunately, there is still a lag on the live feed, so we do apologize for anyone watching that. But uh, for anyone that is able to see the full thing, and hopefully it's not, maybe it's just us lagging, but for anyone that can see the field right now, it is first and ten. Rebellion ball at the 40-yard line. That was a first down on that one. And don't forget, let's give a special thanks to our sponsors, starting with Coach Cree Morris and his five tool quarterback clinics. The quarterback, Nanji Marin, Katie Ott, Katie Ott, sorry, and Rebellion players have been with Coach Cree for two plus seasons. Nanji has a quarterback for the past four months. For more information, check out quarterbackcoach.org. And as you can see on there, that was a fumble. Uh, miscommunication on the snap there. Looks like it got bobbled, and that's a big loss for the Rebellion there. I mean, good job by Ronnie to be able to grab it at the end of that, but uh, it's tough when you're facing now a second and uh, 20 or so. Second and 21. 
on the on the forty nine. Like we mentioned, Nick will be working on getting that live feed going uh, up to the same pace as we're at. But uh, it is second down and long right now. And then Jim Martin will be taking it for herself on this one. Big hit by the end of that one. They're able to bring the defense down, but she punishes them for trying. That is a huge hit by the quarterback. And they just made things a little... That defense is going to think twice now when they go up to hit her. Big play by Ninja on that one. Brings up third and long for That's the right. Rebellion. It is still third and long because of that bobbled uh, snap. But can uh, Ninji work out some magic right here? She'll give it to Ronnie on that one. I believe that was Ronnie Armstrong. She cannot go anywhere on that one. See, now, this is the coach in me because I really love coaching. I love the sport of football. Right. Is that use Armstrong, Ronnie Armstrong, use her strength, which is bouncing to That's the exactly outside. That's exactly what I've been saying. Notice all their gains are on the outside. It's very little up the middle stuff that's been working. Like, it's understandable you want the defense to be honest. Right. But you're not getting anything, and the defense still knows that. So exactly. You don't want to get too them. predictable. But as we see, the Rebellion are going for it on fourth and long. And then she tosses then she looks it to up. The air and nice it's catch! And it's completed for a And that's Katie Ott all the way on a 48-yard touchdown. Great throw by Ninji. Even greater catch by Katie. But there's a flag at the end of the play, unfortunately. Let's see what the flag is. Let's hope that it's just for excessive celebration and the touchdown still stands. Is it? So they're going to throw a flag on that celebration. You know, when you break the score like that, zero to zero, you got to celebrate a little yes, bit. So I don't blame it, it Katie for that one. It looks to be unsportsmanlike on the offense for the celebration. So touchdown still good. Going for the extra point here. So that's all good for the San Diego Rebellion. That's right. No matter, no matter what the refs are going to call at the end of that, it's still 6-0. So you got to be happy about that. It's been a long first half of no scoring, and we finally get something here. Rebellion for the two-point conversion. And the and Rebellion look like they're going for two. Back to the strong back of Ronnie Armstrong. That's right. But came up short. So, unfortunately, I mean, obviously, as people know, there are different rules for as far as the uh, points, uh, depending on what league you're in. So who knows if their extra attempts are for one and a kick is for two? Yeah, I mean, that That's is possible. the way it is in uh, Pop Warner, but in high school, they then it's back to right. the real world, where a kick is one and a run is two, run or pass. But what's also really likely is just the fact that they had that sportsman like, so they yeah. felt they had to try a play with it instead yeah, of kicking. Yeah, so regardless, the score still is 6-0. And that's a great start for the Rebellion in this second half. Oh, yeah. Great start, great throw and catch for... About a 45-yard touchdown, great throw by and you, Nenji. You know what I think is really the big thing about this is we were just talking about that quick running back, Ronnie. Now, every time she's back there, they're also going to have to be looking right. at that deep yeah, throw. So Nenji it opens exposed up. exposed her arm, but exactly. it's probably a good thing yeah. because now they're thinking run or pass, exactly. not just run. It completely opened up multiple options and so yeah that was an awesome play there katie Orr totally outran the whole defense too or sorry katie Ott. so the rebellion are kicking off from the 20 yard line regarding the unsportsmanlike after the touchdown and this is their 10 yard penalty oh so my apologies they it looks like they enacted yeah there i thought they enacted on the kick return or the extra point 
but here we go. And I think the rebellion and it have it. It looks like the rebellion have recovered their own kick. I don't think the rage player knew that if she didn't get it, it's rebellion ball. But yeah. But it looks like the refs are signaling the capital city's ball. Looks They'll like they'll be it. taking over at the 42. Really lucky break for them. Great effort by the rebellion. Oh yeah, yeah. No, she. Uh, I. I apologize because I b didn't see the number of that player, but she completely. You got a little too yeah, excited. Exactly. There, Luke. Yes, I did. But she totally <laughs> ran in straight yeah, for that ball. The other player for uh, Capital City was kind of looking around. Yeah, I would totally agree with you. She was looking around. I don't even think she knew what she was no, doing. No, I, I, I think she was a little confused. And uh, props to the Rebellion and player I for running straight in, for in it. And I in our booth next door to us, we got the coaches. And you could probably hear <laughs> yeah, them you on the field yeah. saying, get on the ball, get on the ball. So I think the rage was, a, hey, maybe. There was definitely some miscommunication there, but it is first, first and, and ten. ten. From the Rebellion 42-yard line. High snap there, but she's still able to grab it. And it's an incomplete uh, pass. Incomplete. And I... Maybe they, Great job on that play by Vanika Jarvis getting pressure. What were you saying, Nick? That the Rage, uh, Capital City Rage in white, hopefully maybe they addressed that snap issue. It's happened multiple times. Time. Yeah, it was all over the first half. And now on their second drive, first play, another high snap. But great pressure by the Rebellion and look to keep that pressure through the entire second half. Exactly. As it is 6-0 in the third quarter. Exactly, and now it's even more important that you keep that strong defense now that you have a lead. And they're gonna run it here. Big hit there at the end of that one. And that was once again Vanika Jarvis coming in. She's been all over the field. She has been. Vanika Jarvis is a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, she's a very physical. Just at either side, you see her, she's blowing past the linemen, blocking her pretty quick. So one thing that, I mean, that touchdown may have given the Rebellion the momentum they need to succeed for the second half, but it looks that way that they are powering through on defense on their second time out. Mm-hmm. And now it is third and third and six on this one. They're looking to continue that great defense. And it's dropped by the receiver. Maybe that was the rebellion presence just scared, gave Kristen, them the yips. Yep, Kristen Smrzinski, she was in, she was near the ball. She would have made that hit, I think, either way. So maybe that did. Maybe that got in the uh, Capital City player's head there. As the possibly. greats always say, uh, catch and then think. Exactly. Don't think and catch. Exactly. Catch it and then think. Exactly. You see a lot of players, they look up a little too quick and drop the pass or something. They so, do. Yeah, exactly I, what I you're saying. I tell my players all the time, I don't care if you get walloped, make the catch. The snap was a little high there, but she was able to get it quickly. And that looked like a and great a flag. pass deflection. But some laundry on the field by the officiating I team. I saw a uh, defensive back hit the receiver on that play. It, it was pretty quick. Um, they might, maybe she's arguing that the and receiver they're, ran they're into her. Signaling. It Pass is. interference by the Rebellion, rebellion. that is going to signify a first down for the Rage. Lucky break they That's got there. That's a huge break. It was fourth and long. And like I said, I think the Rebellion player thought the receiver ran into her. But it was pretty obvious that the receiver got hit on that yeah, one. Yeah, I think it, if we had the review, we could definitely see a... Uh, little push on the back there, right. but way to stay on the ball, Rebellion. It is never bad to get a penalty, but don't get a game-changing penalty. Exactly. So here it is, first and 10 now. And right that the, is great oh, pressure. Who is it? It's Vanika Jarvis again with that pressure. That is, what, three great <laughs> plays in a row? I don't know, maybe she's hearing us up here. But Nika Jarvis is really a force to be reckoned with. 
she coming is, off the end with speed. That's making it hard. And it, it also makes it harder because you do see that the quarterback has been struggling to get the snap. If she knows that Jarvis is going to be right yeah. there to hit her, that makes it even a little because tougher. Because the one thing, Range really loves to run a right. uh, shotgun. Yeah, so exactly. it takes the ball a little longer to get there. So uh, Vanika Jarvis gives her all the more time. is using that to her advantage. It's great. It is. We'll see. They potentially throw some double team. Look at her. She's standing up there like a linebacker, too. Yeah, it looks like Rebellion is sending the house. And, and they do, which causes an overthrown ball they do. by the Capital City Rage. And good defense on that. They're going to say no pass interference there by number 14, Mira Jelen. That's going to bring us third down. Besides the penalty, it looks like the Rebellion really flipped the uh, switch for oh, the second half. Well, sometimes that just happens. That touchdown really pumps you up and makes you go out it there does. and want to make some stops. And they're doing it. They're out hustling them right now. They're playing stronger. And, yeah, they made that mistake, but they obviously bounced back right away. You can't and it mistakes. looks like they're sending the house again, the Rebellion defense. But That's somehow right, right. the Rage found a seam up the middle and bounced to the outside for great, great run first there by down. the Rage. KDR was able to <clears throat> bring her down at the end of that one, but it but is a first down. Too late, which brings up a Rage first down. That is, and they're really looking to tie this to so that. And that was probably the first slip up by the rebellion. Right. We're, this will really decide things because, yeah, they were able to bounce back from that penalty and not let the mistake affect them. But when the other team pulls off a great play against you, it's a little more that deflating. That could build momentum as well. So be cautious. First and 10 from the 33. Okay. So it's the third quarter or like when there's time? There's the 50-50 raffle, that's the blue one. There's the sponsor raffle, that's the red one. The 50-50 is $132. Oh, you're doing that? Yeah, we're doing a lot of that. Alright, so that was the raffle for anyone here at the stadium interested. But uh, for all you fans watching, it is second down and five, I believe. Yeah, and let's hope that that big first is down did not give the Rage of momentum exactly. as the Rebellion puts eight in the box here. They are. They're coming at them every play now. They're bringing the rain, and they do. They meet the Rage at the line. And by Elliot Nguyen at the end of that one to bring down the running back 101. We heard that hit up here in the booth, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that was a pad cruncher. That makes it third down. down. So this potentially could be a big stop. If you score and then hold the other team in 30 yards in from your side, all of a sudden you're feeling like the man. You're feeling like you can win this yeah, game. Yeah, you are. But Let's make some the Rage are knocking on the doorstep. Third down. The ra the Rebellion with eight in the box again. They look like they're coming for the Rage. And that and was in. Do. I think that was an interception. That oh, was. Nancy Martin. Nancy Martin grabs the ball as the quarterback tries to pitch it over the line. It looked like it was a botched screen or something. Huge props, and that's what happens sometimes when you're the quarterback. Great, you know. Great turnover. Great. Great pressure. Great play. Great awareness by Nenji Martin. All by number 47. Like I was saying, I think you know when you are a quarterback, maybe you see sometimes what's going through the quarterback's maybe, mind. Yeah. She saw her struggling so there. So maybe that Tossed helps. it up. Yeah. Easy pick. So maybe those three straight plays of putting eight in the box finally got it to did. the range. It Paid off. Made a mistake, brings up first and ten for the rebellion. But uh -oh, we I have think a false start by I the rebellion. I think there was a flag on the uh, receiver out here on the outside. Yeah, it looks like they moved a little. They so forgot be the snap a count. Five yard penalty for the rebellion. But that huge play right there, I think right now they can breathe a little. They can. I would definitely say you can breathe. But that doesn't mean. Take still your foot push. off the gas. Exactly. You Keep still, it all the way down. You want to make this a 13-0 game right now. 
So here we go, Nenji Martin in the backfield. And what a quarterback keeper! Great she really fake there the by defense. Nenji Martin. They all thought Ronnie got the ball, and she yeah. went almost untouched for like three or four seconds before now, someone came now up. Now we know why they gave it to Armstrong up the middle all those times that, you, to set up that kind of a see, draw. We're, we're not going to question you guys anymore. That worked. That, that was a great <laughs> play by the Rebellion. Got and they did. all they the penalty really, yards back and more. And they all, you, like you said, they all thought it was going to be Ronnie. They all thought running yeah. back up the middle. Yeah, that was great. So we have three receivers on our side and then one out on the other side. Shotgun here. And they're going to give it to Armstrong. Up the middle for a short game. Please Armstrong with the carry. It's a short one yard gain by Armstrong on that one. That's... Maybe that's setting up. Third down and three from the 36. That is, it's short. But you know what? It, it, I personally think it's not too bad to go back to that a little because the defense might think, oh, they, they threw it off, they faked us out, now they're done with it. And then all of a sudden, bam. Sometimes the most surprising thing you can do is do exactly what they thought you might do. Yeah. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It didn't work on I that know. one. I, I feel a pass play coming here. Maybe out to the left with trips left. And it's an option. And it looks like Armstrong gets the ball. Gets Ronnie the Armstrong, first down. huge running on that play. As she's running over defenders. And I think we have another injury on the field. But let's talk about that run by Ronnie. Did she, you see that little try, Ronnie? She jukes at the defender and then just smacks into. That's that's a dual threat running back right there on the same exact play. She's swift and can hit defenders. Yeah. So we got. Uh, we got a trucker in the house, and we got a dancer as well. We have, yes, exactly. And unfortunately, we also have an injury on the field, but they're uh, so taking a look at her. And we got the helmet off. This yeah. Hopefully, it's not serious. Right. Like I didn't really notice it before, but if you take a look at that uh, bench for the Rage, they're, they're short guys. I even think there's someone on the bench right now with crutches, so they don't have that many players. They definitely don't have enough to have a whole offensive defense, so people are playing both sides right now. Yeah, let's hope they could at least just finish out the game. Exactly. Yeah, that's the least you can ask for. Meanwhile, you take a look on our side. The Rebellion have more than enough players to make some healthy substitutions and stuff, so that will always play a factor in a game. They do, and it, it's great because what we touched on at the beginning of the quarter, beginning of the second half, was that... The second half determines how well conditioned your team is. Exactly. And that proves kind of that point right now as this is the third Capital City yeah. Rage player to go down. Well, you know what? The quarterback for the Rebellion, Nenji Martin, she came into our show for Palomar Live, did an interview. They showed us pictures of their practice, and those weren't, those weren't just pictures. They're obviously running out here. They're sprinting. It wasn't just for show. But let's give it up for the Capital City Rage yeah, right now. Yeah, she's able to she's get off walking on off her own under accord. her own power. Doesn't seem to be limping at all. It all looks good, and that's always good news. It's always great news. So during that time, we got some San Diego Rebellions players getting coached up on the yeah, side, getting ready for there. for their uh, drive Just to come to as. That's your mics. The mics aren't the mics aren't interfering. Before this play starts, I want to give a special shout out to Fight in USA. They provide game socks for the team along with their amazing titanium tapes and discs. To get yours, visit fightinusa.com. Use the code SDR10 to get 10% off your order. Big hit on that one to start and things you off. You definitely heard that one up here in the booth. That hurt me a little bit. I, Where maybe what? I, what would you say? Maybe 200 feet away from that location of the hit? And I believe there was also a fumble on that big hit. Yeah. I think it is Capital yeah, City Ball. Yeah, that's what happened. The Rage recovered the ball. I'm sorry. The Rage recovered the ball, which brings up first and 10 inside the Rebellion territory. 
And that's tough. The battle's kind of been going on here right now between Two the turnovers. 50 and the 30. Yeah. Two turnovers exactly. inside the rebellion zone. Let's see if the rebellion can maintain their momentum to keep their game alive. If you like this live feed, be sure to check out San Diego Digital Imagery from their programs, tickets, and flyers to their live streaming. There isn't anything they can't do for your team or business. And ch also check out Polymer Media Studies as all the voices you are here hearing yeah. today are all by Polymer students in the Media Studies department. Yeah, you can be a part of it too. Here we go, big group tackle there by the Rebellion and that uh, that run for the Rage, and that makes it second down and four, I believe, at the 39-yard line. You know, this seems like football I'm very familiar with, but not in a good way, Luke. That ground that and pound? It's ground and pound for the Rage, but it's always constant defense for the Rebellion. Right. I mean, that in football, it really is the longer your offense is on the field, the better off your night yes. is. So yes. you don't want this. I mean, another injury, unfortunately, for the Rage. But it looks like, like she's getting up quick, or yeah. at least trying and to get up quick news. right now. So despite all these injuries, it's the Rebellion getting kind of gassed out right now, being on defense, having to switch over so much. Because, I mean, a, get, turning the ball over right after forcing a turnover, that sucks for the yeah, defense. that's, that's not always the best. You just made a big play, and then you have to go right back out after. Is, I don't know. I don't know. That's not good. So here we go. It is second down and four for the uh, Capital City Rage. Let's hope that that injury did not give the Rage enough time to gather their thoughts, but it did give the Rebellion awesome enough time tackle there. to that gather was a their great thoughts. great tackle by Aubrey Twombly to end that play. And see, that's what, I mean, football is so intricate where even an injury timeout could be affecting the, the exactly. momentum of the game. Exactly. Where the rage kind of had to wait and sit, but the rebellion came out strong and was able to make a tackle for a loss. Right, and the they got that field. little bit of rest, just that little bit of talk with each other, and all of a sudden you completely forget about the bad plays that happened before Which that. is always a, a great thing of great athletes. Exactly. And I think that's exactly what we're watching today. Here we go, they give it off to the fullback. What and a, a great effort. tackle. Great give a lot effort. of credit to Elliot Nguyen for going one-on-one -on -one with that fullback until the rest of the defense could get there. And that's a big fullback that they're tackling, too. Hopefully, Elliot's not hurt. It looks like she took a little bit of a beating on that one. But uh, you're going to have to when you're tackling a fullback that big sometimes. That's, uh, that was a mighty big fullback, but great effort by uh, both defenders lunging for the tackle. They did. They went in fearlessly. They got the hit, and uh, the rest of the team came and cleaned it up. That's all you can ask for sometimes. I remember specifically one time when I, I think it must have been seventh or eighth grade, but I was one-on-one -on -one trying to tackle a running back, and I tried to do some heroic, throw him to the ground, make the make my teammates go ooh tackle. I totally flew off him, and he ran That's and scored what a football touchdown. That's all about yeah. making those ooh ah. Exactly. But sometimes you just gotta grab him and let your teammates come in and clean up. You can't yes. always be trying to make the you can't bring the be house Superman. down. Yeah, exactly. But with that tackle for a loss, that brings a fourth and long for the Rebellion. Exactly. As and the Rebellion has looked very, very solid in this uh, on this drive. Absolutely. And oh. huge catch by number four. That was a three-on-one. That was a phenomenal catch. I think that was the fullback, too, yeah, that just got tackled. I think so. She and came right up and got it among you three defenders. Are, you can't defend a perfect throw into the breadbasket. Exactly. 
she but threw when it. you have three defenders around, you might need to do something. It some. goes both ways. You can, it, sometimes that perfect throw doesn't work, but if you have multiple guys there, someone can bat it. It, yes. It, it, it has to happen. And so, something I would always tell my players is dive. Dive yeah, for the ball. Exactly. Reach out. You, you got pads on for a reason. You got to fall sometimes. But you know what? Plenty of credit to the Rage for that awesome throw and catch. And that's why it is first down at the 25-yard line. The quarterback got knocked. She did. The quarterback did take a little beating there. Still got the ball on target, but was not able to complete the pass. That was a great deflection by Mira Jellin to get up in the air and swap that, That was that a too. great deflection. So that makes it second 10. This, it is late in the third quarter right now. Suddenly the momentum might switch if it's tied or even 7-6 to six at this point. So... You really want to hope more than ever that you get these next well, two stops. Well, you just got to hope your defense, the San Diego Rebellion, it's not getting tired since they've been out there probably most of this third quarter. Exactly. But we got eight in the box for the San Diego Rebellion and sheds off a block to make the tackle nice behind tackles. the line of scrimmage that and was, getting the penalty flag thrown. That was Smirzinski and Tanya Luna that coming together to make that tackle. Let's see what the flag so is. So breaking the hold to still make the tackle. That's Let's incredible. see what this officiating crew has to say about this play. It's the equivalent to N1 but in basketball. But it's a hold, a face mask on the defense. Oh, no. And that takes away any great things that happen All on that play. All those great tough. defensive stops by the defense are all meant nothing just for the stat sheet. Yep, that's right. Now that it's just another flag. That must be busy. And now we're nearing the red. Well, we are in the red zone. We're nearing first and we goal. We are in the red zone. They do got one more first down before it's a first and goal, but let's if, hope the Rebellion can push him back. If I'm not mistaken, this is the first play in the red zone for either team tonight. That's pretty incredible. I mean, the, the Rebellion touchdown that was pretty far away. That is in this first half. And it looks like the range come up short for the first down. Oh yeah, no. Let me correct myself. I did say first. Uh, I did say game. I meant yeah. This second half, first play in the red zone, and it's an it's and a it nice game. And it looks like the they are. They might bring out the sticks. That is the end of the third quarter. Your score: Rebellion six. And that's the end of the quarter. Zero. Rage looking to score here and maybe take a lead, but uh, but what do you do right now if you're the Rebellion? Well, right, I'm the Rebellion. I'm up 6-0. I want my First, team uh, as a coach to know that you're not up 6-0. It's right. basically a tie game that is one possession, and they are knocking at our doorstep right now. They, I believe, are six yards away from pay dirt. You've got to be ready for anything, and it's yeah. only second down. I also think based on what's been going on this game, they're going to run. It, again, the throw the obviously was successful eight, for that one part, seven, but seven, uh, when number two, four seven. went up and made the catch as the fullback. But one more time, three, other than eight, that, six, it's really been running that's seven, been getting seven, them places or two, penalties. Seven. So if you're the Rebellion, you're building up for the run right now. Right, you are. I mean, your day, play calling on. should not be changed on offense. Because you are only up one possession. Exactly. But on defense, you got to be ready for some hard-nosed football right now. They're on the five-yard line. They are knocking at the doorstep. They have the playbook at their disposal right now. Yep. You can't be too careful. It is. It's advantage rage right now. So if you're the rebellion, you have to really, you have to be aggressive. And for the first game of the season, this is a great turnout. Absolutely. Going into the fourth quarter, 6 0. And that is for the red tickets. Yes. One more time. 
Once again, that is eight. Rage coming up to the line. Eight, six, they got seven, two receivers six. out wide. It looks like one out there on, in the slot. And up the middle for And it was Rage. Capital City Rage touchdown. And it was a run, just like we just thought it would like be. Just like we were speculating the in the walkover to the other side of the field. And they took advantage of that hole right there. You could see that side was the you weak side. You could drive side. a semi-truck yeah, Exactly. That hole. It was the weak side before the snap even started. So big ups to the uh, Capital City Rage for being able to exploit that and see I it right away. The, uh San Diego Rebellion, though, could... Um, stop this conversion right. to keep it this at is a, a big deal. game. In a game that both sides have been putting the clamps on each other and they've had trouble scoring, a one-point uh, lead makes all the that difference could be right the now. Game. Exactly. You don't I mean, know what could happen. I've yet to see a kick. I don't know if the Rebellion up will be the middle, keeping. But the Rebellion coming up strong Three with Nancy Martin. Leading the pass. Awesome tackle by Ninji Martin. She got helped out by Tanya Luna at the end of that one. But that was all defensive line for the Rebellion, and it is still 6-6. Six, six. Sorry to say, but there is another injury on the field for Capital City. Be sure to join us next Saturday for Youth Sports Night. Bring your kid in one of their personal jerseys, and you get in for $5. You must have at least one kid for every two adults to get the $5 ticket price. She can't, she got it pretty quickly though, so that's some good. That's a good thing to see. Uh, Maybe it could be more like a tactic where they're the trying to get some uh, air in their players because right. most of them, as we touched in the third quarter, are playing both ways. They don't have that big of a bench. They could use all the breaks they are getting. Because yeah, the I Rebellion just, got at least eight players on the sideline. I just line. counted them. They have at the most 20 players uh, for the Rebellion, or for the Rage. That's not enough players to even have an offense and a defense. Yeah, that is, would be too short, but too short can make a break. A yeah, healthy well, team. Exactly. So we'll see. That mean, like we already mentioned, they do already have one player out there in crutches. <laughs> Um, one player out there stretching. They, they've taken some licks tonight, but uh, it's 6-6. Six, six. Anything can happen here at the end. It's not about how, I mean, obviously it's the condition comes into it, but at this point it's really all about But, heart. you know, I think the pressure, I would definitely say the pressure is on the Capital City Rage. Oh, yeah. Just scored. It took you over, like, 10 minutes right. to make, to drive again halfway down the field and they were bailed out by penalties yes they were as for the rebellion they were able to just show the ball up mm -hmm, get, right. get a big uh, catch and get that touchdown so they've only had three possessions this half so great great job by Aisha Bernie getting the uh, the ball on that onside kick but, good awareness uh, like you're saying they only have how many they've possessions they've only had three possessions this half this is starting the fourth but they've had one touchdown on those three possessions so it's a good success rate but hopefully good enough to win the game and don't forget, Jack Up Brewery is the fifth quarter home of your San Diego Rebellion. Join the team and coaches for great local beer as well as the EMS food truck. See you there and go Rebellion. First and 10 now for San Diego. The onside kick might have just been a squib. Who knows what the purpose was, but uh, it's good position here for the San Diego team. Nice throw to there by the Nancy. air again, Martin goes. It looked like it was on the outside intended for um, for Katie Ott, but it it went a little closer to uh, her receiver in the inside, number 54, uh, Selena Graves. So incomplete pass there. Might have been underthrown. If it was intended for her, then Selena just uh, wasn't ready for the pass. So here we go. Oh, that's, that's four receivers out, and I think they're going to air it out here. Kind of looks like the Rebellion are, are trying to go big open. and strong. 
and that's Vanika Jarvis. She's been doing it everywhere. Amazing offense, defense, running the ball, catching the ball, and now we got a touchdown. And Nick, that's why they call you coach. The, you were saying they, they got they were hitting quick while the the Raids were taking their time slow and steadily getting up the field. They do. The rebellion are showing this is a quick hit so offense you know, right now. So you know what happens to the Raids? They're tired and go back on offense. Exactly. And now you kind of have to make a big play like and that. And they got a momentum, adrenaline, and courage. Rebellion defense about to take the field. This one might be over early. It looks but like they're going to kick it's here. It's never er the end of the game till the clock sets. Extra point zero. good by Selena Graves. Let me show 13. 13 6. Rebellion. And uh, Nick, I mean, we've seen this in basketball before too. So uh, I, I've seen this a million times, no matter what sport you're watching. If you, if the other team just scored on you and you don't have too much time left, you have no choice but to score really quick. The more time you take, the more time you give them to have a very little pressure to just go up and score. It's great that you call me coach. One, considering great. I am a coach, but two, since you said that, that you don't have much time. Right. You gotta drive the length of the field exactly. to get a touchdown to even the score. But what I've learned over my whole course of coaching and playing is that you cannot abandon your game plan. No, exactly. You could alter it, but stick to the way you play. Exactly. Don't adapt to the other team. The Which, when you think about it, is advantage rebellion because obviously the Rage's style is a heavy run, hit hard yes. team. Yes. Now rebellion is forcing them to be quick and throw far. And that does not work for a run game. So the quick pressuring defense of the rebellion can. Ooh can pay off so big mistake there big mistake if none of you catched on if she let the ball go they could either redo the kick or take the ball about the 40 yard nine line. yards up the exactly field. so tech that really is a nine yard loss there because she caught the ball and then ducked out you of know bounds. For, for some people it seems to be a uh just a rule that they didn't know yet. I mean, you, you learn it young playing Madden and, and college, but it is. If that ball goes out, it's advantage for the kicking team. You think it's a disadvantage if you didn't know, but you want you, it to you go do. out of bounds. I was told, and eventually I did, even when I played, is that you should officiate some games on the side oh, yeah. to learn the rules. Because as an official, you know the ins and outs of the game. Or at least you should. So that would help you as a player. You know what you can and cannot do. Exactly. But this rebellion defense doesn't need to know the rules as they're flying all over the field. Exactly. And that was Irish Jones, Polamolu style tackle there. Yeah, just running in, I jumping love that for that. Tackle. tackle at the feet, wrap them exactly. up. Just bring them down to the turf. I mean, not much you can do when your feet are wrapped up. That's your that's your whole mechanism that of scoring. That was always my one word saying in one line saying as a defensive coordinator is they can't go anywhere without their feet. Wrap yep. them up. So let's exactly get the rebellion defense to wrap up. Toss here to the running back and big one-on-one -on -one tackle there. In the backfield for about a two-yard loss. It was kicked off by Nenji Martin, but a couple other defenders got maybe, in there. Maybe that uh, touchdown gave them some momentum. Oh, to, uh, yeah. They're running now. They're, they're, they're hyped. I mean, sometimes it really is. Seeing that score just gives you that adrenaline boost all of a sudden. You're, you're refreshed. You're not tired anymore. No, you're not. Tiredness is a thing of the past when you're yes. excited about to get to the end of the game you fought so hard and long for. Exactly. Conditioned the whole week for to walk away, hopefully, with a W. So it is. It's third and long for the uh, Capital, Capital City, City Rage. Offense. As they look to the air, 
They got a man open. And it's a little too long. That's fourth down. Big break there because she was open, but. She was open, so that brings up fourth and long. Little too much gas on that I mean, throw. we haven't seen it at all this game, but this is definitely not a punting situation. Right. Uh, go for it all, go big or go home. Right. Well, we've seen, I believe, one punt tonight. If uh, Maybe a couple, but still. The, you, like you said, these, these aren't teams that like to punt. And no, they're not. I think they want to go big, go home, kind of like right. what I said. Like you said. They want to stick to their guns. They believe every play is going to work, not just the first three. And so would interesting you be cautious lineup. right here if you were the Rebellion? Oh, like, absolutely. They're, they're putting about six guys in the box right here. They It looks like they're expecting a punt, and, and they got one. Wow. So it ended up working out. Looks like Ninji's going to let that one go. And... Was that 41? Sorry, that was uh, Katie Ott, not Ninji Mar. And those ones and sevens look uh, almost identical. They look way too similar. That was, that was Katie Ott, though. You are correct, Nick. And that because she let the punt go, that brings it to the Rebellion 28-yard line. And right now, you have a lot of room to relax. You can run. Now, that was a great punt. Played it beautifully. Exactly how you would want is where... No return, let the ball bounce, and now you just got to let your defense do the work. You got enough time exactly. where you could get a turnover on downs or create a turnover and march your offense down the field for a quick score. What you're going to do right now is either kill the clock or kill their timeouts, so it's a win-win. Yeah, it is an easy uh, recipe for a victory right here for the Rebellion, but nothing's easy in this league. As we have a run up the middle, but a high-looking tackle. That was. That, that by the gone, range. That could have gone either way. Nice run by Ronnie Armstrong. That makes it second and six. But I would say that was a good no call by the fishing so? crew. I do because we're not out here uh, just calling a call. If right. it looks that way, it's got to be that well, way. Well, it definitely wasn't a horse caller, that's for sure. So at that point, it's up to the ref's discretion. Yes, just let the refs officiate. Right, that's their let job. Let the players play. Let the, the, the broadcasters broadcast. Exactly. The refs didn't come up here and tell us how to do our job. So, But so, there, yeah, that's true. we get the horse caller... Wow. The, the Looks like we were play behind. Yeah, horse collar right the there. The 12 officials we have on the Rebellion sideline finally <laughs> got the horse collar they yes, wanted. Yes, they did. They were, they, were, uh, they were pushing for that for a couple of plays now. So that brings up an automatic first down for the Rebellion. Yeah, good news Which brings them to a... Uh, uh, a whopping 20-yard wow. penalty into the Rage's territory. Now that punt that they did a few moments ago no. isn't looking too good since exactly. they can't keep their composure. Armstrong As again. Martin hands it off up and the middle. The other thing about Armstrong is she, yeah, as a running back, you're a little shorter than those other guys, but she but has just been pushing. She's not legs taking. Legs of steel. Exactly. She's not taking. She's just not uh, allowing herself to get brought down by this defense. She's and going now right we, at them. We have a uh, timeout by the Capital City Range. That is. To, uh, maybe get their act together because who knows what just happened in those last three and plays. that is that's exactly what we were thinking was going to happen soon you're either going to milk the clock or force capital city to call some timeouts well but it's not just a timeout to stop the time it's probably a timeout if i'm the capital city coach i'd be saying to my players oh yeah what happened on that first play why'd you tackle high almost get a horse collar yeah no then you, you definitely... get a horse collar and then you let up five more yards. You got to have some words for them because this is make or break. There's no, oh, we'll get them. The, we'll, we'll, we can bring this up the next quarter. This is it. It's over after this. But Luke, the rebellion right now are huddled up 
getting talked to by their coaches. What are those coaches saying to them right now? I think those coaches are saying, we have this game in the books. It's 13 to six right now. Do you can't make a single mistake. It's better to lose yards right now than to turn the ball over, I think. Right. Don't try to be a hero right now. Don't no big plays. Exactly. Would be my main message. Exactly. If you're gonna go and get the first down, go do it. But at this point, you'd rather have a 10-yard run than a 20-yard run, because that's just more room on the field to kill the right. clock. Yeah. Once you get to the oh, first dude. down, you I'll know, maybe sure. trip. Yeah, right. And go exactly. down right after the first down. Exactly. You don't want to be going out of bounds right now. You, you don't, don't want to be throwing incomplete. Yards. Yeah, exactly. So we'll see what they do here. But they challenge us up here in the booth. Wow. And they throw it. They do. And but it's... maybe that hurt them. It stopped the clock. It did. It gave a down away. And you gain no yards. It's what we were saying. You can't do that. It's too risky in a game where you don't have to throw out any risk right now. You have the lead. You can play it completely yes. safe. And no one will uh, be mad at you for it. So. And you can't be completely safe because if you want to be completely safe, you just take the ball outside right. and hope for the best. But you do have to get the first down on this set of downs right here. As it is now third and long, looking to the air, but Nenji comes and up it's a short little under again. Oh. So she wanted to hit Selena Graves on a quick throw and run, but it, it just wasn't meant to be. It could have been a good play, but now it brings up fourth and long. My issue with it, not that they did it, but I would have ran the three plays or the two plays before it. In my personal opinion, yes, I think that incomplete okay. gave them no options. It's a it's a wide field, and at that point, you had to throw. Yeah, now you're looking deep, and the defense kind of sees what's coming, bringing an extra man, and they do arms up, but a catch by the rebellion for a first down and more. Looks like it doesn't matter. Christian Smurz Smurzinski makes that wide open catch. She's, she's hurt but on this Kristen one. Christian Smurzinski appears to be down on the play. Uh, I really hope she's okay. Uh, Fortunately enough, at least from up here in the booth, it doesn't appear like she was hit hard. Let's hope it's I think just she'll a be muscle all right. strain. I mean, obviously you hope she's okay in the long run, but if you're the Rebellion right now, you hope she's okay for the very next play because she kind of broke a, that lull. Yes. A huge first down there, wide open too. It was just basically a catch and run and, all the way through. As she's running off the field, she looks to be fine. Just maybe um, got the wind knocked out of yeah, her. Yeah, a little shake it up. As well, keep an eye on her on the sidelines right now. Exactly. Expect her to be back pretty quick after making a play like that. But a quick update. She's not even taking off her helmet. She looks to be fine. She'll be back. And thanks to her, it is first and 10 at the 28-yard line for the Rebellion. Um, what, how about now, Nick? Obviously, this is a different situation. Do you push in and go right for that score, or do you want to milk as much clock as possible before you get there? Well, if you could score, do it. I I am not a fan for say milking time and scoring. Right. If you could score, score. And that looks to be the rebellion's case right now, as she runs east to west. She's going all the way around. When she should be going north to south. Big play. That's Selena Graves. That's some Reggie Bush Heisman running right there. But it looks like she hit a rage player way too hard. Much too hard she was prepared for. Got the win knocked out of her, but she got right back up as her teammates helped her. So that was the exact play you saw them run before um, on that quick throw that didn't yeah, work. But that, I don't think that's what Selena Graves was thinking. That was all improv on that, that one. Yeah, she saw a hole. She saw her original hole block. She saw a hole all the way on the other side of the field, 42 yards away. And she was quick enough to do it. it. Yeah, that was awesome. Brings up another first and 10 for the Rebellion. They got a lot As of receivers Nenji out. As looks to the air again. It's one-on-one. -on -one. And caught. 
And they're going to throw the flag. Dropped in the end zone, but we have a flag in the end zone, ladies and gentlemen. Great job As by we Brooke wait Newsom on to that see one. The call she did. She tried to make uh, crew. She tried to make the Sports Center top ten with that, that one. It was a little bit 10. off. But that, still, you like the effort. I love the effort. We got a pass interference on the defense. Uh, the First end. and goal for the rebellion. Great job. I mean, First and goal. that's basically, I mean, when you're that close, that's the second best thing that could have happened right that there. That is the second best thing. So now here you it is. have a first, first and, goal. and goal on the three yard line for the rebellion. Yep. Let's see if they could give us a two possession lead at the end of the fourth quarter. A pitch to Armstrong, and it's in for the score. Ronnie Armstrong with the six up the middle takes the pitch from Nenji Martin. That makes it 21 to seven. And if they do have any MVP game balls they're giving out at the end of this one, I think you got to give one to Ronnie, you got to give one to Nenji Martin, and you got to give one to Vanika Jarvis. Yes, Vanika Jarvis. <laughs> Absolutely, Caught yeah. Caught that big 65-yard touchdown. And honestly, you know what? Get a fourth one and give it to Leslie Hubble. This has been an incredible oh, display. Hold on. Hold on. We got to wait for the official signal. There was some laundry being thrown, but it was just offsides by the defense. And that makes it 20-6 to six in favor of the Rebellion. At, this uh, game's late. Near the end of the fourth quarter. Just exactly. Need the We're late in this one. Rebellion to keep their composure, not to let a, let the victory get the best of you. Exactly. Play till the clock hits double zero. Exactly. You're in completely in control. You just continue that momentum, and you're one to know. Don't forget anybody uh, that will be here on May 12th. Right, Dance Effects will be providing the halftime show for the cancer awareness game. And if you won't be there, why not? Get a ticket, get over there, see Dance FX, dance at halftime. And if you like the socks that the San Diego Rebellion are wearing, team up with uh, Fighting USA. That's P H I T E N. Visit them at fightingusa.com and use the code SDR10, SDR10, to get 10% off your order for some cool game socks yeah, for your yeah, team. I might take a look at that if they're not too expensive. So here we go, Rebellion kicking off. Two possession lead here and a booming kick there by Selena what Graves. A boot. She must be German with Das Boot. <laughs> a great job and by the Rebellion. Swarming what a low the defense tackle. there. Wrapping up at the knees. And I, I was a, she I was wrapped a, her up like a Christmas ham. There you go. Straight from the egg. That's your uh, <laughs> German and Christmas ham. Oh, hopefully that's just a cramp on the field. Let's hope so. I never it, heard the Das Boot one. I like that one. <laughs> I yeah, heard, I came up with that I on heard my the own there. One, but, uh, <laughs> First down and 10 of the 15. How about we get some noise around here? Let's oh, yeah. do all this defense. Let's go. Wow, kind of uh, interesting to see Nenji Martin taking a, a breather on the sideline. Right, well, I mean, at this I'm point sure in the game, the why not? I'm sure the defense could survive without her. Exactly, they've had other players. this defense has been fire this whole fourth quarter. Exactly, they're, well, great run there by the Rage, but yeah, like you Still said. Still gets her out. Before the first down, keeps it as second and short. And you don't want the clock to be stopped there, obviously. But like you were saying, Nenji, she can take a breather right now because of what this defense has been doing. They're group two, tackling. Two possessions. you got a great defense. Exactly. A defense that is firing on all cylinders. But they cannot take that for granted. No. So that makes it 
second and short now for the uh, oh, Capital City Cage. Oh, and we got a timeout. Rebellion. Hey, his coach uh, wants uh, to uh, talk it over with and, his, and if, his girls. And if you're watching the officiating crew uh, through the live stream, they're not doing too much of the signaling because there ain't no game clock. So necessarily, we don't need to see their signals up here in the press box. Right. But we have a former coach in here who do, yes. does know officiating. So we will get you the best calls that we can possibly deliver. Exactly. And it looks to be a 60-second timeout. If you're the Rage, what is your plan right now? If you're the Rage, depending on how much time is left, because as you mentioned, our game clock is out of order tonight. Depending on how much time is left, I really think you're clamped in a corner. You need to throw. Like, you can't be running anymore at this point. There's just not enough time. It's throw, score, get that offensive kick, or uh, offsides kick, and then score again. You, what, what do you think? I would definitely agree with you. Um, their last, their first down play, their last play, a run to the outside, that's where you got to stick it. Exactly. Run to the outside. It, it's not working in the air. At least go to the outside because you have the sideline. Yeah, if you're not making huge gains like that one, huge catch and the flag. That's what we call in basketball, an N1. <sighs> what a great N1 brings it to the 44 of the Capital City Rage. And my mistake, I did think the red flew a flag there. It's not an N1, but it's still an awesome catch. So he kept the hanky in his pocket. Yep, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Let me just do it after this drive. So we'll see what happens here for the uh, the rage. They really don't have too much time left to do something, but I mean, they got the right idea. Throw the ball, get it deep. If you're not getting deep throws and gaining 10 plus yards, you gotta be getting out of bounds. That I do agree with. As they look to the air again, big ball. That's a complete but pass. a little off target. Great job. And that was a three-on-one. It's really hard as a receiver. I mean, no matter how much you'd like to think, you're totally in that zone, and the greats are. But every once in a while, or I mean, sorry, unless you're one of those greats, you can tell when there's other defenders around you. Yes. You, 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 you see it in the back of your it head. It gets in your yeah. head. It doesn't matter if if you know you're not going to get hurt. you got pads on. It's still it's exactly. psychological at that point. Exactly. So here we go, second down and 10 now for the uh, Capital City's Rage. Look into the air again, a short pass over the middle. Work there, nice tackle by Aubrey Twomley to bring her down before the uh, first down marker. Brings up third and short. That's right. And now if you're the Rage, if you're the Rage, you got to try to get the Rebellion offside. Get an easy five I yards. I agree. Might as well keep that clock uh, off right now. I think that's a smart move. But you know, it surprises me. The rebellion are not eight boxing it right now. No, they're they, well. They're looking for those passes. They did bring the Ooh, pressure. Very nice. Did you just see that one-handed grab? Very nice catch. And she had the wherewithal to truck over two defenders as she was making the catch. Also brings up a first set of downs. That was awesome. That was a great play, but. Honestly, they're not getting enough yards right now, in my no, opinion. No, they're not. They're just patting the stat book. Exactly. Ready for There's next not week. too much right now. There's not too six much you could do. Gain, oh, yeah. Really, all you can do at this point is bomb it down the field and score in one to two plays. Other than that, you're just milking clock. 
And a special thanks to Coach Crew Morris and his five tool quarterback clinics. For more information, check out quarterbackcoach.org. Make yourself an elite passer like Nenji Martin. Yeah, and throw those dimes. Exactly. Oh! Awesome defense what there. A close by goal number for the 87. Rebellion. Sorry, 81. That was Vanika Jarvis of again. Of course it was. Keeps making plays. But you got to give the running back some credit. She pulled on Jarvis she as did. she was trying to make that but, catch. But just in the the uh, press box alone, I think we could unanimously say <laughs> that Vanika Jarvis. Vanika Jarvis could be the game MVP. I think so. I think you. I think we can. I think we can agree over here. Jordan uh, didn't like the way you said that, but yeah, but you know, you just gotta roll with it. I definitely make think notes. The, no, I'm kidding. Vanika Jarvis is the MVP. Look into the Big air for the rage. Uh -oh. Looks Wide like, uh, open, but overthrown. But we got a rebellion team member down yeah, on the looks field. Like we'll, we'll get her name off. Uh, looks number to in. be in distress. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of pain rolling there. Rolling around all on the field trying to get one of her teammates to and calm her down. A rage player is also hurt. So just yes, like a double. At the top of the screen, we exactly. have another a rage player. So as you can see, she's we got the duo effect going down on both. Rebellion teams. player pointing to her knee. But it looks like the rage player is getting up all right, needs some help to the sideline, but is limping off as though the rebellion player is still on the field right. tending to that knee. And we do have some movement by the player, but it's... It's obviously her leg that's hurting. not looking good right now. Well, she went down as the play was going, so that obviously yeah, hurt that way too much. That can never be a good sign. Mid-play, you go down as both teams retreat to their bench. But here we go. Sherry Morzardi. Sherry Morzardi has at least gotten to her feet, but has not moved. She is still standing in one spot with, with her coach and trainer on her left and right side as now she hobbles on over to the sideline, hopping, keeping her left leg off the ground. And we apologize if uh, you're not getting this feed right now. That but this is, is not a sight we want to see. She is now being right. carried off the field by her coaches. That's a tough one. And to our speculation, it looks like she is, it is. nursing it's, her it's left Sarah knee. It's Sarah Bulldog Rodriguez uh, down with the injury right there. Yeah, it's definitely 22. So, uh, Sarah Bulldog Rodriguez, hopefully she gets better quick. Uh, I wonder how they got nicknames so quickly. It's, uh, it's only their first game, a couple uh, of them. Uh, at least they have seven days till their next game, and maybe True. she'll be all better by then. And it's just a spring, but back so to the game. So here we go, yup, that's third right. Third and long, third and nine. They got four receivers rage. out, and they're throwing. Deep ball, ooh, nice Looking catch there. Looking to the there. air and it's completed, but the Rebellion are having a tough time they getting are. the rage on Number the ground. A one man army there. That took all of like four or five Rebellion players to bring Carried it down. Carried the Rebellion for about four extra yards on that play. Absolutely. So I do hope that people are able to see the feed, even though we can't see what's going on. But um, for anybody that will be here on May 12th, I'd like to mention again, Dance FX will be providing the halftime show, and that will be the Cancer Awareness Game.
First and 10 at the 20 yard line. And be sure if you want to come out next Saturday, that is. And it's dropped by the Rebellion defender at the end of that one. But uh, just great defense there by Selena Graves uh, to deflect that. Doesn't matter whether it was a catch or not at this point. Obviously, you want to get the interception, but uh, great defense. And if you would like to attend next week's uh, San Diego Rebellion football game, it is going to be Saturday for Youth Sports Night. Bring your kid in one of their personal jerseys and you get in for $5. You must have at least one kid for every two to, two adults yes. to get that $5 ticket price. And we will be here in the press box. Luke, Nick, Kyle, and Jordan stop by and say hello. Yes, do so. Well, maybe not, but... Uh, it's nice to, it's a nice thought. And that is an interception. It didn't work the first play. You know play. what that's called? That's called an ice for the game. Exactly. And Katie Ott is able to grab that one, pick it off. Great awareness by her to just, well, it was a present. It just went right into her hands and she made do. To give you an update on Sarah Bulldog Rodriguez. She is on the trainer table getting looked at. Uh, it looks like one of her knees, is, her left yeah. knee, is it's getting left looked at. Uh, She's got her helmet off. She's moving all right, but she is sitting down on the trainer table. It looks like it's the end of her night, which yeah, makes but sense. It does, she does not look too upset. No, as, um, not with this lead. There is a game next week, and hopefully she will be in that game. Right. First and 10 for the Rebellion at the 15-yard line. Looking to just wrap things up here for everyone. Armstrong tripped up on that one. Tripped up for a short gain. Armstrong still keeping the wheels turning. Them several legs are going strong tonight. Yes. Pick up with two on the play. So we mentioned the players already. I mean, Nenji, um, Vanika Jarvis, Katie well, Ott. Ronnie Armstrong. Leslie Hubble, exactly. But what about as far as an overall team, what do you think they need to do to go 2-0? Yes, please definitely comment on the Facebook page and leave us some input and we'll transmit that on down to the exactly, team. Exactly, yeah. Let your voice be heard. You can give some coach down to the team. Great play Great there. Great pitch by Nenji Martin. But the ball comes out, and the ref is saying that it hit the ground. She was it down, did. and the ref is sticking to you his guns. You can definitely see she was down by contact before the ball popped out. Did and, you uh, see all those rage players hassling that they ref? They were, they were, yeah, they were. Uh, but the good job by the mad. officiating crew sticking to their guns, not allowing a rage player to get in there. So, Nick, while we let the uh, commentators and viewers say what they think the uh, Rebellion should do, what do you think they need to do to go 2-0? Well, hopefully I'm on the same page with our viewers. Yes. <laughs> is that I feel they are kind of playing like the Patriots. Right, right. nice England run by Patriots. Nenji. Yeah. They kind of coast in the first half. They kind of learn their <laughs> opponent's <laughs> strengths right. and weaknesses. First down. And then in the second half, they learn how to exploit those. I so agree. they make the adjustments in halftime, but I think what they can try to do is maybe take or open up your playbook a little bit more in, in the first half and don't just wait till the second half to do that. So in summary, you think what the Rebellion needs to do to win is... It totally depends on the team. They just have to it, adjust. It does who depend on who they are playing, but I like the way they are playing Vanika right Jarvis now against right. the Capital City Rage. And look at that. Vanika Jarvis is getting some carries at running back. She's a do-it-all player. Um, it's a triple threat player. Could catch, could carry, and could tackle. What's really good about this team is they're able to let the best players shine 
without overdoing it, I guess. You don't want the same player to be running 10 times in a row or keep throwing it to the same receiver. But you definitely want to exploit your greatness. Like right there, Nenji Marin, big run. First down, it was just a simple uh, pitch and run. But she had Brandon Armstrong behind her in case it didn't work out. So they're using everybody on the field. Now, this is always an interesting part of the game. They're, the, the game's pretty much done. Right. But you still got time on the clock. So you can run a few plays, but it looks like the defense is kind of just letting the rebellion run through them. Well, it is. And it's both ways. But as we say that, it looks like the game is over. Your San Diego Rebellion start the season 1-0 with a 20-6 victory. Yes, what a game that was. First half. Not too interesting being tied at 0-0. Zero, zero. But they were able to come back and really light it up that second half, a 20 to six run. I want yes. to give a final special shout out to uh, all our sponsors, especially Escudero Mayor Sam Abed for joining us for the coin toss. Thanks you, thank you to us, Balmar College Media Studies, Dance FX, Felipe's Pizza, Coach Cree Morris, Fighting USA, San Diego Digital Imagery, Jacked Up Brewery, and EMS Catering. And join us at the fifth quarter uh, at Jacked Up Brewery. It's the fifth quarter home of your San Diego Rebellion. Yep. Join the team and coaches for great local beer as well as the EMS food truck. Be sure to be here next Saturday for a youth sports night. Bring your kid in one of their personal jerseys and you get in for $5. Must have at least one kid for every two adults to get the $5 That's ticket That's right, price. you don't want to miss out on that discount. It will be here next week at Orange Glen. The San Diego Rebellion will be taking on Riverside. And, that and we will be, will be here as well as yes, for we Kyle, for Jordan, Luke Sutherland, and myself, Nick Baldwin. That does it for us here at Orange Glen High School. Jordan, you got any few remaining words? Thank you for tuning in. Join us next week.